you're using where the um, like ground bait PVA goes in the whole water uh, or the water around where you're fishing at least. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's weird. And the weather's really not bad. Like, oh yeah, I was going to look at, um, all right. So we know, we know Amber has some good spots. Let's see what old Berg's talking about. Probably 2167 mostly. That's awesome. People trophy get a trophy crucian down at the pond. That's cool. Pike. White bream. I saw that a couple days ago. And there's 2167. So it looks like people are using what is it, cocoa? Mostly at Oldberg. Trophy tench. Trophy crucian, that kind of stuff. I don't know that spot. I don't know if that spot is as good as it was. Let's see if, what if anybody said anything about bear today. Holy cow. These icebreakers sour. They are really sour. Mmm. 55.63. Trophy common. Let's see how slow it is. So an hour and 23 minutes, 23 keeper fish, mixture of mirrors, commons, bycatch of leather and grass, it looks like. They're using big old boilies. They'd have a better bite rate with less size on their boilies, but they're going for trophies, I guess. They're doing some kind of lemon setup, I think. Forty-four fifty also working. So fifty-five sixty-three, forty-four fifty. I mean, that's often the case at Bear. Those two spots are typically pretty good. Trophy grass at forty-four fifty. Also some tench. No golden tench though. A lot of grass carp. You got to really be in the mood for some grass carp there. Oh, they're using smaller baits, so it's probably good bite rate. If I was lower level or low leveling up bottom fishing, I might try something like that. 22 clip. 44.50. Although they're using a one-aught hook with small boilies. That never makes sense to me. If you're going to use smaller boilies, 
Why not use a large one hook? I mean, I guess we do that at Amber. Sometimes we try to get a little tricky with that, but I don't know. Sometimes the boot goes off. Yes, <laughs> sometimes the boot goes off. They're going for the leathers, Gonzo. Is that what they're doing? Over at 5563 with those big old boilies. They do have a uh, 12 kilo leather. At least this person did. All right. Let me go take care of this really quick. I'll be right back, chat.
Yo, sorry chat. I think I'm ready to go. I think I'm good. So big leathers at 55.13, huh? Yeah, I think that's right, Blunty. I thought about that too. Like that's something I was thinking about doing at Amber today. I just don't know enough about Severski to know if that's actually like helpful here. Oh, Gonza, you had a 25. Yo, so what's, what's up, Pytum? Dude, what, what was it like when, uh, wasn't there a time when natural baits were catching like all the record leathers? In fact, is it still the case that like absolute leather carp was some like honey dough or something? <sighs> Am I remembering that right? This is all recent though. Like they did something to records, didn't they? Did records get reset or something? Yeah, every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le Le Levo, Levo, yeah, it's Levo, right? Yeah, on honey dough. That's right. Yeah, that's right. No, you're right. All right. Okay, we've tried it. Uh, let me actually mark this spot on my little map thing. Because if I'm gonna ever try to do the trophy card, this is one of the spots that I'd have to sit at probably. So let me... Um, let me see if I can add that to the trophy, to the, um, to my, my local thing here. I don't think this is getting updated anymore, but it still works on the local level, right? All right. So we're at, um, 122.88 basically, which is. Somewhere around here. Okay, feeder. So, carp and tench. Um, bait would be like crawfish, tails, seafood stuff, grass carp. Carp stuff, banana, for example. 12 meter clip. All right. All right, we've got that saved now. Dude, what do y'all think we're using here? What baits are these? I don't want to have to translate this. I'm just curious. Does anybody know? Actually, it might say in the post. No, it doesn't. Is that cocoa and cream? And then cream dip? Man, and no PVA either. Should we try that? Let's try that. 
Before going to Amber, let's just give Bear a little bit of time, right? Does that sound like a good plan? Um, all right, so we can go ahead and get our, we'll, we'll use, actually, I think I'll use these same things. Is that what I want to do? Do I want to fight a trophy grass cart potentially on? That's not really what I would want to do, right? Nah, let's use the big boy rods. Let's use the big boy rods. All right, that looked like sinking, right? Is that really cocoa and cream and banana? Is that what that is? All right, I can always change my uh, thing to um, to uh, Russian language real quick, and we can see. All right, so we're going. Let me make sure this. Yeah, we're we're good. All right, so we're gonna use mono though, obviously. Um. So let's see, thirty six. So we're saying this might be Coco 12. Oh, I guess I don't know if this is pop up or sinking. And then banana 14. Yeah, but those, those are white. So let's see, what if it was classic hair? The tops on them are white. You know what I mean? So like, Coco. Yeah, it's definitely sinking. And then banana 14. Like, you could be right on that. And then it certainly looks like cream dip. All right. The photo I'm looking at, it's on uh, VK. So I can... Uh, post it all right so let's see if this is right all right so we're gonna pull this one out man this was just like uh, first of all we need to do this right uh, this did not work out well did it did this have no nope, yep we're good all right so that way we can go ahead and pick this one up All right, so this is what I'm thinking it is, but let me check the language real quick and we'll double check. You are correct. You are correct. They are using cocoa and banana. Why? I don't know, but we'll try it. And we just want to use some like basic cocoa. Yeah, like this will be good. Cocoa from 1223. All right. Let's go ahead and get all three ready real quick. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you for double checking. Um, yeah, I just really honestly did not want to fool with translation stuff right now.
All right, let's start off with, um, let's start off at least with this third one on uh, pop-up. Always fun to do a little comparison between syncing and pop-up. And we'll do the exact same thing. Oh, thank you, Camel. I see that. Thank you. Yeah, I see that. Thank you. All right, we're going right here. 22 clip. Just to the left of... Um, Just to the left of all the green stuff here. All right, and this is the one, the far right rod is the one that actually has pop up instead of sinking on there. Now I'm not gonna spot or anything. This is bare, let's don't get carried away. Now this should be a decent bite rate um especially in the first hour because of how small the boilies are like we'll see but that would be my expectation and if the third rod is like too slow we'll switch it to sinking as well um all right let me save this uh translate dot yannicks so you're just copying and pasting stuff into this huh yeah, I've looked at this before. All right, let me just make sure I've got it saved. Um, so I would have, what, copy and pasted. How do you, oh, you'd have to set, save it to screenshot. Is that what you said? Print screen and then paste it into Yandex. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Thank y'all. Yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Although my, um, oh, it's working again. Yes, it's working again. For some reason, my normal way of doing screenshots had like been busted lately. Oh, it's totally working again. So good. Oh my goodness. We're already getting a bite here, folks. How exciting is that? All right, all that's left after this, or not all that's left, but like after we uh, have a little fun at Bear, I think we're going to go explore Dew Amber, right? Shift, window, S, shift, window, S. Really? Okay, cool. So mine has always just been, I've got a print screen button on my keyboard. 
So if I do the window button and the print screen button together, it seems to work. But there was like a while there, I probably just needed to restart my computer or something, but there was a while there where it didn't seem to be working. It's kind of frustrating. Um, all right, we're getting some nibbles here, folks. We are in the carp business. Hopefully we're going to catch some fish. I would love to see uh, some nice grassies here. All right, here we go. Yeah, thank you, Cam. I appreciate it. That is a grass carp. 4.4 kilo grass carp. And that was on pop-up, by the way. First fish pop-up. We'll see how it goes. In case you looked away for a second, we are fishing with Cocos and Cream 12, Banana 14, Cream Dip, and just an old Coco PVA I've used before. Uh, overall, pretty small particles and baits. Uh, the only difference in the three rods is the third one we're actually using pop-up same bait same size as boilies but we're using pop-ups instead uh both of yours so far on sinking no pva hey this spot might work better without pva you never know with bear um bear doesn't always it's not always the same feeling as amber on pva to me but we'll see all right second fish on sinking All right, love to see a little mirror carp here. 5.25 mirror carp. So far, this is looking like a really good spot for someone who is um, new to carp fishing. Got your caliber HSVs loaded up. The only downside is you are going to occasionally run into some grass carp that, especially the bigger ones, are going to be like, just hold on. Hold on. Five kilo grassy on Inferno, same spot, same baits. Nice, Quantum. So Inferno is Tela, is, uh, is float, right? Tela stick. I think I have one or two of those, maybe a couple. Yeah, Inferno 800, probably. It's amazing, like, when you start looking around and you realize, like, oh, there's one of my mugga hooks. What's it doing there? The experience would be nice if they bite one to two a minute. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, I bet for an hour, you could probably average that. We're just in the middle of mid overnight right now, right? It's going to get better, I would think. Yeah, you can catch any fish at bear because you're not going to get spooled at bear as long as you have the right spool size and type of line, right?
Ooh, nice, Zerk. Yeah, you might be doing with be doing better without PVA then. I'll be curious to see like. I'll be curious to see like if they on average if we stay pretty close to that you know four or five kilo fish. That's kind of what it feels like it should be with the size baits we're using, but then every once in a while you know you'll get the outlier like somebody on BK it looked like they caught. A bunch of fish around this size, and then they had the trophy grass carp out of nowhere. You had a, you saw someone catch a trophy sturgeon on alpha. Yeah, you just gotta have patience and quick feet, right? That's uh, that's pretty sick, though. All right, looks like people are talking about Amber. Let's see what they're saying in chat, in game chat. Um, someone said Amber feels slow right now. 83, 200 silver with salmon. Oh, interesting, using salmon. So zombies saying 124, 66, 35 clip, muscle, corn, and dip. 12 markers in 20 minutes on just the corn, says Elijah. So it sounds like 124 right now is where people are. All right, so if this turns into a bite, we'll be two fish on pop-up, one fish on sinking. And we've only got one pop-up in the water with two sinking in the water it's interesting but again it's overnight let's see how this thing averages out once we get to daytime if i see a sturgeon or a pike bite on my long pole i cut the line <laughs> in real life pike scare me yo captain furious how's it going uh i had a trophy chinook on a nine kilo line and leader no way holy cow that is brutal. I got to quit zooming in and then just leaving it zoomed in. I feel like people watching the stream will enjoy it more if they see more of the screen, like the of the what it outside looks like and stuff, not just zoomed in on a line. Hey, what's up, medic? Glad you all could make it today. All right, we are catching the grassies. That's a little nicer one, 7.9. Love it. Love it. I didn't really know that you could catch grass carp overnight. Did y'all know that? Is that always the case? I thought, I thought grass carp pretty much like stopped biting overnight. You might see an occasional common, but a grass? All right, where's the strongest? Ooh, look at that Chinook. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean you caught it on an ultralight setup? Or did you have, I mean, that would be like the most expensive ultralight, but you, I mean, technically ultralight, you can use nine kilo strength. Look at that spiny dogfish. That's a nice spiny dogfish. Dude, we should start doing like in the middle of our st my stream, we're waiting on carp to bite. We should start doing like a um, I was going to say like if you're sub to the channel, then um I go look at your house, but I I don't really want to do that. If you, uh, how can we do it? Maybe have a bit thing. Like if you do a hundred dog bones, not bits, like, you know, the free currency you get and you want me to go look at your house. Like we just vote on who's got the coolest looking house, which the only thing you can change would be the fish that are up, the rods, the reels, trophies that are out. Those are all the things that you can change, right? It was a fight. I bet that was a fight. 
Holy cow, ultralight trophy Chinook? That's insane. That's actually insane. I don't know if any of you all are Braves or Braves or baseball fans, but I cannot believe the last three Braves games. I can't I'm not sure if I ever remember a series, a three game series as stressful but exciting. Like all three games they came back and beat the Mets late in the game. It's just it's crazy. All right, 4:22 a.m. Grass 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 pike uh, grass carp are waking up. Let's get this artificial light out of here. Oh, I think I just hit Y on this rod. That's why that was blinking. Baseball still on TV. What do you mean, medic? Of course, baseball is still on TV. That's a good question. I mean, it's a good thought though. Like, do the Braves come on tonight? I know they do. They're at home tonight. Cause uh, I know somebody in my family that's actually going to the game. I think. Yeah, seven twenty. My hope is to. Oh, dare I say it? I don't know if I should even say it. If I am still streaming at that point, though, we got to remember to turn the Braves on so we can at least see what the score is every now and then. I have a question. I have six points in feeder. Whoa! Holy cow! Thank you so much, Captain Furious. I don't have any points put in. Uh, I have six points in feeder rods, zero points in carp rods, and enough silver for one good rod to go with my HSV. Should I go with feeder or the carp rod? Carp rod. I'd go carp rod. Uh, wifey honeydew list time. Good luck. Oh, uh, all right, medic. Well, I'm planning on being here a while. If you get done with your, uh, if you get done with your list and hanging out with your wife, feel free to come on back. That will mess with the bite rate. All right, so classic pop-up. I'm just like, at the minimum, I want points in classic hair, classic pop-up. And points in using the, uh, and using this. Um, so yeah, Captain Furious, I would go carp rod still. I don't think there's any other, uh, anything else I need here. All right. Okay. So let's hope this is a crucian or a gibble. Oh no, it's a micro grass carp. Not one of those micro grass carps. All right. Fish have definitely woken up, folks. Yeah, this is what you want. Because the fa if, if the bite rate like stays pretty decent, you still have a chance to level up bottom fishing as a like low to mid-level player. Um, and the majority of the fish you can get in without too much trouble. Like this is kind of the perfect spot for a, you know, a, someone who's new to carp fishing and rushing, rushing fishing for, I feel like, um, so far so good. Again, we'll see if it keeps up. I've been sitting on the silver for days. Oh, glad we could be helpful. And I think you should feel really good about that decision. Long term, you should feel really good about that decision. Don't worry about the the points as much as the um, the potential of having a nice carp rod. Do you still have your free reset in points? Uh, if you do still have it, I would hold on to it for as long as you can because these are the kind of things that you sort of figure out the longer you play, and then eventually one day you'll be like, okay, I am ready and confident uh, on how I want to set my points up. You know. How's it going, Addy? Welcome back. All right, guys. So I'm I'm not going to keep the non-markers. We'll cut them up or throw them out. So we're just going to count markers. But we're five markers in. We've got one, 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 two, one, two, two. Yeah. So right now it's three to two. Pop up over sinking. Nope. Is that right?
Yeah, it's three to two pop-up over sinking, even though I only have one rod with pop-up and two with sinking. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks again, Medic. Oh, nice blood. That's awesome. All right, here we go. All right, another one on sinking. So now we're going to be back to three to three here. This is actually a decent carp. Decent little grass, I think. Heck yeah. Maybe like eight kilos? I don't know. I can't tell for sure. Yeah, 8.8 .8 kilos. All right. We're doing it now. We are on the carp, folks. Once we get out of this like early morning hot phase, I need to go uh, take a quick bio break and also find my reflective, non-reflective glasses or whatever they are. I think they're right downstairs. So, so Trophy Xander blood. Are you uh, trolling Volkov or where are you? Look at these nibbling grass carp. Oh, at Archie, of course. Archie. That's right. Over at Archie. All right. What who, who, What? was I supposed to look at at Discord? Somebody posted something at Discord. Oh, Zerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet cream pellets. Sweet banana 20. Ooh, is that working good, Zerk? Has that been working good? Oh, we got a fish on. We got two fish on. We've got three fish on. Guys, we have three fish on. I mean, I'll say this. I think pop-up is at least working as good as sinking. So, you know, whatever. Like, whichever one you want to use, but pop-up seems to be doing just fine. You caught a 20 kilo gra uh, black carp? Oh, that's awesome. Hey, there's our first comment of the day. It's going really well. So far, so good, right? Let's cut up that grass carp. Oldberg Bream, 5031. I still need to try 5031. I haven't tried it yet. Clip 13. If I do a uh, on the leveling, or if we play on the second account at some point, remind me, I really want to go to 5513 at Oldberg. Oh, I hate halibuts. Oh man, I love this bite rate. For carp, this bite rate is terrific right now. But this is bear. I bet it dies down a lot if you stay for a second hour. That's typically how bear feels to me. Little inconsistent, but you can have some really good hours at bear. Uh oh. Yo, why are we dropping frames? Why are we dropping those frames? All 
All right, looks like we're back. It looks like we're back. Everything's plugging along okay, but that was weird. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. It's just a small stutter. Good. NR says, I just joined in. Can you give a quick summary of the setups you're using? Uh, yes, yes, I can. So we're at 4450 bear, 22 meter clip. Uh, we are using Cocos and Cream 12, Banana 14 with Cream Dip. We're using an old Coco and Cream uh, PVA, but I think the PVA is probably pretty optional here. Sounds like some other folks are catching some pretty nice fish without PVA at all. Um, the only difference is on the third rod, and this has been doing just as good really, we've got pop-up instead of sinking. So the first two rods, classic hair. Third rod is sinking. Let me know if you need to see anything else again. I don't mind at all. Feels like I'm hooked into a submarine and it's gonna be like 25 kilo max. Oh yeah, no, halibuts are the worst. They're just rough. That's why I'm trying not to embrace the um, the big fish too much until uh, I get to a bigger boat rod. Yo, I want to show you all this. So I'm going to end up having to delete this video I made earlier. I was telling some of y'all about this earlier before I started the stream, but like, cause the audio got screwed up. So I'm gonna have to delete it. But I was fishing in the middle of the night. So, so mostly what I was doing in this video that will never air is, um, I was leveling up, you know, just, just trying to catch mackerel. Right. But in the middle of the night, I threw out a small piece of safe and it just like was immediately this huge fish, right? And it fought really aggressively at first, and then it got a little more, a little more uh, doable. So I was like, "All right, this is awesome!" Like you know, I and I just I think I knew. I I'll show you how messed up the audio is. So I'm excited about doing some carp fishing later today. We're gonna do stream the carp stream. But I knew I wanted to at least get the happy. Okay, audio screwed up, um, but. Pretty early on, I knew I was like, there's a real possibility this is a cod. I didn't think it was a halibut. I was on the 41 meter hole. I didn't think it was a cuss because it was fighting too much. Let me just show you when I get it in. But it ended up being a pretty nice cod. I actually had no idea how big the cod got until I looked up the like weeklies and I mean, cause this showed up as a weekly, but it wasn't anywhere near the top weeklies.
most important thing, it gave me marine fishing skill points, right? But yeah, nice cod, 49.595. Are you serious? Is 50 trophy? I even talked about that in the video. I was like, I just have this feeling that 50 might be trophy. But anyway, that was a really fun fish, like fun fight. And I hate that the audio got screwed up because I would have loved to have posted that video, but it is what it is. All right, so during the day here, we're seeing like infiltration of Crucians, which is weird. Why didn't they bite at night? Crucian gibbles are active at night. Whatevs. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, we could do snowman. I mean, honestly, oh, I'd. I'd also possible, okay. Um, you could do snowman, that's fine. I mean, honestly, like, I wanted to just fully test classic hair rig along with classic pop-up. That's where I have points as well, you know? But you certainly could do snowman. That'd be cool. Be worth trying. Ooh, voiceover. Ah, let me think about that seismic. So I record me just watching the video. Uh, it's a good idea. I don't know if it's, if it's that good. Like, I don't know if the video is worth it that much. Like, I'll probably just make the same video again. I just won't catch that cod. Like, the whole video was about you know, how quickly I've been able to level up marine fishing since switching to that mackerel approach. And I was just kind of giving an example of that. And we got a, I got a bunch of marine points while doing it. But in the middle of the night, I caught that really nice cod. So that was just sort of like the icing on the cake, you know, but it is what it is. I don't know. We'll see. That cod was worth 200 silver. <laughs> retry the video till you catch the same cod that's funny um look how many crucians we're getting now it's fine again like you're losing silver when you're catching crucian probably or or at least breaking even i would say but overall, you're still making silver and, you know, still have a chance to level up bottom fishing. You'd rather a real active bite rate to be able to continue to progress forward, even if that cuts into your, like, profit line a little bit, I would say. Just release cod fight with voiceover. That's a good idea. That's like, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not, y'all are having, I appreciate the suggestions. Those are good ideas. We'll see to me if it's like worth it to, to work on something like that or just to record the video again. But yeah, it's a good idea though. You got it in, Camel. Nice. Try one with muscle and fruit 12, prawn 16. What are you catching on that, Quantum? Oh, for mirrors. Gotcha. Yeah, there's some 98 kilo cod caught on, on the map right now. I don't think anybody's had a hundred yet though. Yeah, the only downside of that quantum is um, I kind of like everything to match the PVA I'm using. Although to be fair, I guess since you've got the f muscle and fruit, it's not complete bust, but I don't know. It's a little weird. Golden tench. Oh, that'd be interesting. <coughs> All right. I really got to go take a quick bio break. I got to go pee. Well, what else was I going to do though? There was something else I was going to do while I was downstairs. Oh, find my glasses. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back.
All right, how's it going with the um, without PVA? How are we doing on the spot? Fourteen. So a little slower, maybe? All right, similar spread then. Real similar spread, just no mirror, huh? I've had a couple of mirror. One of them was too small. Yo, Bethany STO. Welcome back. And you had a tench? Grass carp. That's the biggest one yet here, 13.5. That's getting into territory where <clears throat> on some rigs that could start to be a little annoying. Yeah, it's good size carp. I don't think I've had a tent yet, right? But that's where um, Quantum is saying to uh, mix it up a little bit on baits to aim more for mirrors and, and tension stuff. Oh. Do I have chocolate, uh, chocolate all over my teeth now? Not too bad. Oh, you're, you're using the exact same baits. Nice. <clears throat> and you have one tench. Okay. How long has it been, Bethany? I'm trying to remember, like, when were... How long has it been since you were around? I'm so old now, I lose all track of time. I don't have a good sense of, like, time at this point in my life. Good grief. Has it been a while since you played um, RF4 though? Like, have you been away from the game for a while? Sorry, I wasn't trying to make you uh, say your age. I mean, you're welcome to say your age. You have? Okay.
lot of small carp, but some decent ones mixed in. So far, pretty good. You were in Fishing Planet up to your elbows? Did fish did fishing planet do something with saltwater recently too? Announce something or actually do something? You're playing Call of the Wild. Are you talking about the fishing or the hunting? I guess hunting Call of the Wild. What's it Call of the Yeah, Call of the Wild the angler? Is that what they call it? They're about to do that with multiplayer. They're putting in sea fishing on fishing planet. Why do I have a feeling that, uh, and I don't necessarily mean this like in a positive or negative sense, but I just have a feeling that fishing planets take on saltwater fishing will be very different than what we have in Norway for RF4. Wait, Grazi just had 188 kilo. Holly, uh, Hallie, just now. Grozy, Grazi, Grozy. That's awesome. They're good short term. There's just something about RF4 keeps playing. Yeah, RF4 is great. Definitely agree with. I mean, I've been playing RF4 off and on for a long time now. So for me, that certainly has been the case. I don't like how... I mean, this is just like... It's just weird to me. Yeah, I love me some uh, Grozy videos for sure. I like how they're so, um, they're not language dependent, right? Pretty much just shows everything you need to see. Doesn't have to tell you about it. Uh, yeah, I agree about, I agree with that, Zerk. Especially when you're talking about carp. Like, I had fun fishing for carp in Fishing Planet, but the mechanics just feel so much more solid to me, especially with carp fishing over here.
Nothing like catching some juvenile commons, huh? But not surprising considering the baits we're using. We're going to have some smaller fish mixed in. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Here you have to suffer through the slower times of day. But I think it was a really good decision to make a full day be one hour. Uh, I think it's Fisher Online, if I'm not mistaken here, where one full day is two hours. Is that right, chat? Now, the other thing I'll say about Fisher Online is I don't think it's always quite as punitive on the slow parts of the day. But... Having the having a day go twice as long, like I really maybe it's because I played RF four for so long, but that I could just really feel that, like ooh, like if you're trying to wait for nighttime, or if you're trying to wait for nighttime to be over, it's brutal. I think that's the game where it's two hours a day. Surely somebody here has played enough Fisher Online to confirm or correct me there. Oh, I picked it up too quick. Oh, it felt like it was on, but it wasn't really. Tomorrow I'm going to have a match. Four hours of feeder fishing. I might not catch a single bream. Um, all right, I've lost count and I'm not going to recount, but I do feel like it has felt to me like the pop-ups have been doing fine. I don't know what you've thought, Zerk, if you've switched to having one pop-up, but I think pop-up's done fine. Yeah, I was an eager beaver. And I missed a fish because of it. We got to figure out what the... What the, what's the amber spot that we're going to go to? You know what I mean? Like, I got to figure out what's the spot I'm feeling best about. <sighs> I think it's 132. I think it's 132. It's a short clip. Got a chance for a couple different rares. Should be a pretty good bite rate. We'll do that muscle stuff. I think we're going to try 132 first. What do you think, chat? Does that sound good? Yo, Black Cobra, how's it going? We got to we got to feel good about this, but I think 132, I think we're going to do that first. Blood says decent. Both setups fish fine indeed, great. Yo, Black Cobra, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you being here. Hope you're able to chill and enjoy your time here. Uh, what, let's see, what's the bait? Oh, you're talking about for this next spot? It's going to be pop-up muscle, muscle corn, muscle dip, and PVA with like four types of muscle in it, I think. Yeah, sounds good, Zerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a great plan. Let me know how much it slows down because that's important info. Addy says, doing only carps today or are you going to go to Norway too? Ooh, Addy. If I end up streaming for a long time today, like we're at two and a half hours now, but I don't know. I'm going to go till I don't want to go anymore. Do you know what I mean? And if, if that ends up being a while, a long time, then I probably will go do some mackerel fishing because I want to get past 75% at some point. Maybe this weekend, maybe 73.8. You think I can hit 75 this weekend? I don't know. I've got a lot going on Saturday night, Sunday. I don't know. Maybe. 
but we'll see. You're at 12 fish in 30 minutes at 132. Uh-oh. That's where I was going to go. What size boilies are you using, Blunty? Bethany, you haven't been able to go to the sea yet. It's pretty fun. You doing the 16 pop-ups? What is the best reel for carp? If you're trying to go cheap, all right. If you're trying to get into carp fishing for the lowest possible amount of silver, caliber HSV, right? You're using 20 with one corn. And I'm going to be using 16 with two corn. Well, one corn. You know what I mean. Um, so I, hopefully that will help the bite rate a little bit. Uh, if you want to spend more than that, but you don't want to save up for a Megara or a Tagara, then I would look into the Avia 8000. There might be other things to look into as well. But those are my two recommendations. Ooh, I like it, blood. Yeah, one with just corn. That's not a bad idea. Holy cow. That insect or whatever's making that noise felt like it was inside my brain. Holy cow. It's like right above my head. It's like a bird, I guess. It does sound, it does sound like an angry squirrel, but like there's no tall trees near me. Ducks. This just turned into Call of the Wild. When we didn't have the choice to change the oil, it used to be a dice roll, Nagara versus HSV, but now it's HSV all the way. M-Dog Wildlife Reserve, Wildlife Reserve. I wanted it for my birthday yesterday, but I wasn't allowed to buy it because my parents told me not to spend money on games. Fair. I think that's fair. But happy birthday yesterday. Happy birthday yesterday, Black Cobra. Yeah, you can definitely carp fish without having to save up for the, like, overpowered reels. Um, I'd go Caliber HSV or Avia, probably. I think that's what I would do if I was in your position. Oh, you already have HSVs. So go a go Avia, I guess. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Just use your HSVs and save up for something, I guess. I don't know. Whatever's fun for you. All right, we're going just a little bit longer here. We don't want to stop too soon before we move to Amber because sometimes late afternoon, early evening special carp could come in so let's just chill a bit longer and then we'll get ready for our trip to amber so what should we sell fish here or at amber what do y'all think we could price it here and then go to amber and then just live with the results i guess if anything it should be slightly better at amber too though right might be the same but it could be slightly better i think that's how that works Could this be a special fish? Eh, it looks a little small, doesn't it? All right, thank you.
Another nice grass carp. That was on pop-up, by the way. Uh, so, the largest one was on sinking, but the second largest was on pop-up. Yeah, you can definitely make some pretty good silver at Nor or Norway, although boat tickets kind of equalize that a little bit. I mean, I would say you can make some pretty good silver even with smaller reels there too, though. Like, holy cow, I've been killing it just going for mackerel. I don't know what percentage you are on fishing, but... I did one and a half hours at 55.63 on Coco. Not great. Got one common trophy, but that's about it. Oh, interesting, Bomar. Okay, cool. So Coco, 55.63. And that's where people have been trying to sit on the leathers, right? If it was Christmas, the overlords are amazing. Yeah, that's a good point. Save up. Buy some uh, overlords next Christmas. I have 10 five-hour tickets. Wait, you've purchased 10 five-hour tickets? Holy cow. That's a lot of boat ticket time. Got a few leathers too, but smallish ones. Well, I have a feeling if they bought that many tickets in advance, they probably got them with gold since they're on sale. You know, that's they were probably were thinking like, well, with the sales temporary, let's go ahead and grab some tickets so we have a bunch of time out there. That would be my guess, but you can let us know if you want to. Black Cobra, up to you. It's still on sale too though, right? Your poor Adriatica. 22.8 on your Adriatica, what? I will say it kind of seems like maybe I've caught a few more smaller fish on the pop-up boilies. I don't know if that's true, but it sort of seems that way. That is a poor Adriatica. Holy cow. Ah, oh, you bought too much with silver. Okay, got it. Tench mix and cheese cubes on old Berg. Oh, nice. So are you catching a good amount of tench as well on your cheese? Yeah, <laughs> no, that friction break. <laughs> that Adriatica's friction break is probably, uh, probably ought to just like set that down in the in the cool water for a few minutes. Let it just take a break. You caught a halibut trophy on Venga? Grats, that's great. That is awesome. We're just flying fish around here. All right, it's almost 11 p.m. I'd say this is kind of past the point where I start thinking that we're going to catch a good fish. All right, so we're going classic pop-up. So we're going to Mugga. And this one will be pop up with corn. So we're looking for muscle stuff, right? Sixteen is what I said I was gonna use. And ooh, we need some green corn. And I'm sure it's the uh, mussels dip. Looks like we might need some more of that as well. Um, oh, look at all the muscle stuff we have. So, yeah, this is what we want. Just basic muscle stuff, right? 
I don't know why that has corn in it though. So dumb. Why did I put corn in it? All right, let's just go with, uh, that's fine. Yeah, maybe we'll unlock the secrets to the game with this, with this weird flavoring stuff. Mackerels are waiting for you. You're ready to see me back at Norway, aren't you? We're going to, uh, we're going to go, we're going to go. Oh, is this the one we're going to do corn? All right, we'll do corn on this one. So we're going to do muscle and muscle, right? Oh man, I almost don't want to put PVA on this one, honestly. We're going to start off not putting PVA on this one. Because we'll already have PVA on the other two. You know what I mean? Let's just see how it does without it first. Alright, we're going classic pop-up. Oh, am I using the wrong muggas? Dang it. I'm such a carp noob. It's been so long since I've fished for carp. Hello? Uh, we're going to do green. Muscle all the way. Look at this. Like, it's the wrong mugga. It's actually, wait a minute, is that the right mugga or is that the right mugga? Actually, I think this is the right mugga. I think it's the uh, silver one. Yeah, it's the silver. Oh yeah, we're going to see how much... Yeah, it, it I, I don't think PVA is, is an exact science. So in general, I would say that's probably true, Renzi. Although you could get something weird going in there and um, you could kind of freak it out a little bit, maybe. Uh, Titan 8000. That's a good question. Have I ever used the Titan? I feel like maybe on one of my leveling guides, did we try that out? I can't remember now. So 200 silver, just under an hour. Nice bite rate. Good beginner carp spot, honestly. As long as you're willing to de deal with some crazy uh, grass carp occasionally. <sighs> 5531 has more mirrors. Yeah, that's cool. You're still waiting on that crazy yeah that would be good for experience it'll it'll test your patience a little bit but it would be good for experience all right so let's check out uh easy common carp order that'll be there forever trophy tench order uh easy mirror order oh man we've got some easy orders as long as mirrors are active at that spot I think we the only thing we probably need is a little bit of corn. Yo, I have not ridden in a go-kart in so long. So excited. All right, we're going to 132, folks. 15 clip, let's go. I bet I've still got some in my, my inventory. Yo, we used to live on this lake. Like we established a residence, right? 
Yo, what's up, Westia? How's it going? You need to go carp fishing after you make a run to Alaska? Wait, what are you... Ha, wait, what, how are you going to... How are you going to Alaska? What do you mean, Alaska? What game are you playing right now, Bethany? Uh, what would you recommend for first carp fishing skill? Hair rig or pop-up or something else? I would say... Oh, that's so tough. Uh, what do y'all say, chat? It's between if you're talking about skills other than fishing with a carp rod, or uh, or whatever. If you're talking about rig skill points, ah, uh, I might go classic hair, but it's tough. There will be months that will go by that pop up is the best rig on amber, and then there will be months that will go by that classic that you know sinking boilies are the best on amber and so like you might ask somebody and if they've only been around for like six months they want they might say well obviously it's this but believe me it's not so obvious we go down one more right man this spot is so interesting all right what are we doing 15 meter clip think about this yeah I think we want to do this this is the spot by the way if you want to work on your carp telestick fishing skills this is one of the spots Yo, we're not in the water right now. What's the problem? I just don't want it to be shadowed. What? So weird. All right. <sighs> You're playing American Truck Sim. Oh, I got you. So you got to make a run to Alaska in your truck. Then you need to do some cart fishing. I'm tracking with you now. I got you. Holy cow. I'm not going to tell you what just happened. Oh, now I'm moving my mouse around by touching that cord. Territory on Amber has its own zip code. Yeah, I love it, Seismic. This was called Jake's Lake. Well, yeah. I can't ever compete with the amount of time that Jake spends. Whatever Jake is fishing for, whether it's carp or something else... When he's into it, the amount of time he does it, yeah, I can't compete with that. Um, Camel says pop-up. Interesting. Captain Furious says, I know. Forget how to drive. Yeah, Laza. If, if I ever knew how to drive in the first place, that's, that's the thing. You're doing a run to Alaska from Kansas. Wow. Hopefully that's abbreviated because that sounds like a long trip. Uh, do I follow you? Are you here now, Quantum? Westia, are you, are y'all all just like making fun of my driving at this point? I'm single boilies here on telly. Hmm. I always like doing the, uh, I mean, I, this is not, this is not new information. Oh no. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, what is it? Let me see if I can remember. 
I know that it is... Is it cornmeal and sweet dough? All you got to do is look at records. Uh, weekly telescopic. Look at carp. It'll show up every time. Shoot. Uh, cornmeal and honey dough. There you go. So it looks like more and more people are using like boilies and stuff for float fishing. That's awesome. Uh, Euro truck is better. I mean, I do like Euro truck better, but that's only because, you know, to me, the idea of being able to drive around Europe where I've never been other than Portugal for a week when I was in college, uh, is just more exciting, but that's just me. When did you pass your driving test? Oh, dang it. My driver's license does expire soon in actual chat. I've got to go in person. I got to do that before it expires. Even if hair is hot, you can catch with pop-up. But if pop-up is hot, classic hair is kind of dead. Hey, that's a good thinking, Camel. I, I, I like the way you're thinking there. I, I, okay, I, I've decided to go. That You've talked me into it. That sounds very logical. So, Captain Furious, I would go pop-up first. Do I have 50K silver? Uh, I'm not sure. 50.4K. And that's after spending, I think, 5K, 4K to put my um, Tagara in the shop. She'll be ready in one day in two hours and 59 minutes. What is this midweek tournament they're talking about? Standalone tournaments. Oldberg, Corey, Volkov, Ladoga. Pike, 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 Pike. <laughs> First place is the vodka box. Oh, it does come with 10K silver coins. Okay. That's not bad. Yo, I would have zero chance. I don't do a lot of pike fishing, but that could be fun though. What day is it? Uh, Friday. Wait, today? Oh, no, no, no. Tuesday. Is it another 32-hour tournament? Man, I wish it would be a little less time. That's just so long. You're always going to benefit people who are willing to, like, totally no-life it. And that's just not healthy, you know? Just do like a 12-hour thing or something. Or 18 hours at the most. What's up with these 32-hour things? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I am getting a little old. Let's be fair. the heck's a wingman tournament by the way is that like what they're calling team tournaments now wingman what are they fishing for rainbow trout hmm all right later westia Oh, are you serious? Did I look at the comp wrong? <laughs> Pike is the example? Pike is the example? Wait, what? Oh, that's example. Oh, it is Tinch. Mosquito, winding, 
Oldberg and Bear Tinch. Dude. Finding a Tinch at Winding and Mosquito. Does that sound fun, chat? Isn't Mosquito like basically just just fish till you catch one throw worms in and eventually you'll find one i don't know mosquito seems so weird for tench i don't know about winding i haven't really fished for winding tench very much but there's probably a reason for that right yo what's up matt i'm glad you're still here we're just chilling at amber at the moment oh i forgot to fish <laughs> I forgot to sell my bear carp. I was like, yo, we've done better than I realized. I didn't even know winding had tinch. Yeah. Yo, Krushtar. Hope you have a nice weekend. Wait, where's bottom under the tree? Yo, that's awesome. Grats on the spotted wolf trophy. That's a big mirror, Matt. Daggum. Was that at Bear? Where was that? Holy cow, I see it. Nice fish. Oh, you got a black carpet bear? Black carp are awesome. Eighty three one forty five. Really? And you're using a forty five clip. Isn't that usually like a um thirty? I do have, I have tea and coffee. It's between 35 and 45, gotcha. Eighty-seven forty-nine at Mosquito. Under the sea and under the tree. Do we have a mirror here yet? Because there's that easy mirror order. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, oh, if you send me a message, I'll send you a couple coffees. That's where I'm M dog, by the way. Uh, that's also where three of the big golden tench. Oh, really? Interesting. I did not know this. Look at that halibut. Yo, 
Yo, what's up with that? Come on, be a rare. This is where you want the rare to show up. On the big one. On the big boy. No, oh, it is a frame though. That's pretty cool. I'll take a frame. Those are pretty nice XP silver. Slow down. Slow down, buddy. No, just, just, I'm just going to lock you up and bring you in, okay? Come on in, frame. Nice. Nice. I haven't really been paying close attention. Have the double corn been working okay? Let's look at our five biggest carp we've caught here. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love catching surprise barbel. Seriously. All right, we've only got one of these PVAs left. Then we switch to another stack. Um, all right, so... What was I going to check? All right, there's double corn, so 4.5 common. I don't think the double corn's working that good. There's a 3. Point yeah, I think I'm going to switch to double corn. Let's see what this is, actually. Oh, this isn't bad. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep going. My razor broke. Oh, your razor float rod broke? That's not too bad. We'll keep going a little bit longer with that. And, and also, I don't have PVA on this third rod at all. All right, so how did it break, Bethany? That's awful. Yo, what's up, Amar? <laughs> Since the first letter is lowercase, I'm assuming you didn't mean to yell at me. I can't remember what snapped it, but it did. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's awful. No worries, Amar. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know you. <laughs> I knew you were not intending that. All right. Whoo! Just got to stand up, you know. Just got to move around, keep the blood flow going, stretch it out. Drink some water. So, uh, how's the bite rate over there, Matt? How do you feel about the bite rate at your spot? I guess I guess the other thing I'm wondering is what baits are you using, you know? Doesn't it feel so good when you come catch fish for carp and you use PVA that you created like a year and a half ago? You know what I mean? Like, and there's so many times that I'm tempted to just go in and just delete. Look at all this PVA. And I'm sure there's a lot of you that have worse than I do. 
But what I found is it feels really good. Like there's some times where I'm like, okay, I really want to try to catch a specific fish or, you know, whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to actually create a fresh PVA because it's a little different than it, that I've used before or whatever. But man, it feels good when it works out like this, where you're just like, nope, this PVA is close enough. We're just going with it. All right, so let's see. Matt's at 83. What do we see about 83? 35 clip. People are using, looks like the same thing I'm using over here. Except probably bigger boily, right? See, that's what we could do. We could go try 83, 145 after we've given this spot a little bit of time. And, but we could go, actually, it looks like people are using, and that's a trophy mirror. That's two trophy mirrors. And it's own 16 pop-up. So maybe, maybe having the good bite rate, maybe the 16 size boilies are necessary for a good bite, bite rate. We could always go, uh, we could always go, um, what am I trying to say? 20 on one and do 16 on the other two. But it, has the bite rate been pretty good for you there, Matt? All I know is this spot, not too bad. Not too bad. And you've got a chance of catching rare. You've got a chance of catching barbel. It's a good bite rate. For carp fishing, this is pretty active, you know? It's all right. Yeah, that's kind of how I am. It's all right. But it's fun. It's fun because I haven't done carp fishing in so long. If we go over to that 83 spot, though, I might actually spot it. Really try to, like, get the bite rate as good as possible. And, um, yeah, see how that goes. I wouldn't be surprised if I already have some kind of muscle spod stuff. Oh, maybe I don't. All you can eat. <laughs> oh, man. Why do I have something called all you can eat crab? Oh, because catfish made it. That's hilarious. I love it. 20.8 frame at 132. Oh, Amar, don't you wish you played RF4? I feel like you would love RF4. I don't know. Maybe there's just like a threshold you'd have to get past. It is really grindy and you kind of like bouncing around, don't you? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's not the right one. Hey, is this another barbel? Or is it just a small mirror? Oh, small mirror. Well, we are quite catching mirrors, so we should be able to turn in both the common and the mirror trophy, right? I mean, common's no problem. Yep, I think we've got mirror. It's either four or five, I think, right? Pretty sure. So <clears throat> I guess I'll just stay at this spot until it feels like it's slowed down a good bit. I mean, we've only been here, what, 18 minutes? Honestly, I think the third rod is significantly slower. I'm going to change the third rod to be the same as the first two. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just realizing that it's a lot slower. Like the amount of fish I'm catching on rod one or two far out see, exceeds what we've caught on three. All right, thank you, Matt. All right. K 
Can we try 20 here? Let's try 20 here. Talk, talking about slowing it down on purpose. But this also could... This could increase the size. Doing the straight corn is more likely to decrease the size. Now, we'll see. We're, we're going to wait for at least one fish. Then maybe we'll switch it. But I just kind of want to see how it goes. All right, let's go look at the trophy room. Okay. All right. Oh, I love it. He had a method rig. Wait, is this a thing right now on Amber? Are people using method rig? Like, or is it just if you don't have PVA unlocked? I love seeing method rig, especially with something like this, where somebody has called a trophy mirror, not just a trophy. 31.9 on method rig y'all method rig uh, you can't be posting yourself advertising on top of me in my discord when I'm still live just kidding it doesn't matter to me at all I'm just kidding around just making a joke uh, if method is working, I'm going to Amber. Yo, well, I mean, look at, are you in my discord, Renzi? Look what Matt just posted. I mean, that's probably why your bite rate is just okay, but that's just impressive. You're catching that nice of fish. Did you also spot the water? Or are you just straight up doing method? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go, uh, just straight up doing mess. That's impressive. Yeah, well, I'm going to go test it then on PVA because there's no telling. All right, so in case somebody didn't see it or if you're not already a part of my Discord, here's here's what it looks like. So Matt posted this in here. So he was he caught this mirror at 830, 83, 145, 45 clip using method. That is truly awesome. And he even shows what the PV, uh, what the ground bait was in his method feeder. Corn flour, salmon, salmon and tuna, krill, red krill, salmon oil. And it looks like the bait was freshwater krill pellet 18 with salmon 20. Yo, I might just, I don't know, I kind of want to try, kind of want to try what you're using, but I also kind of want to try uh, mussels over there. I'll probably just do mussels over there, to be honest. But, I don't know. Fishy's working, apparently. Salmon and krill, that's right. Yo, we're getting a small fish right now. Oh, it's time of day. It's always going to happen this time of day. On uh, 15 size boilies. We gotta catch those sturgeon baits. Start digging in the dirt for sturgeon bait. In case we go fish for sturgeon at some point. Salmon 14 crushed is the what ground what's in the ground bait. Ooh, guys, I love carp fishing. This is so fun that we got back to carp fishing some today. 49 fish. How long does it take to get out here? It's not that long. I just want to go turn in the cafe orders so that we don't have to worry about it. Um, Cause plus the, the four wheeler ticket run out eventually, right? And um, that way we can just teleport back to town and then we'll drive, or actually I might just run out to 132, that's so close. I don't know, we'll see. All 
All right, at bear. Oh, that's awesome, Blunty. Man, we should do a sturgeon trip at the same time. You're not doing too bad. That's awesome, and you're well into your second hour now, right? Hey. Oh, man, I can't make a mistake driving. Everybody will point out my skills. Uh, Al Hoob, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. One hour, 32. Nice. Yeah, that's great. When bear is sustainable like that... Hey, do y'all know how to get good luck on trophies? You actually just have to drive the four-wheeler around this circle one time. It just kind of like triggers some things, you know? But that's a good sign for bear if it's doing that. All right, by weight, so there's 24, 25 silver. By weight. I was thinking about our bear mirror carp. All right, so there's like 60 silver, basically. 55 silver, basically. Yo, trophy common. Trophy common order. That's actually doable, right? I mean, that could happen. Somebody in chat today will catch a trophy common and get that order at Amber for some big money. Big money, folks, big money. Russian sturgeon are active? Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I got to think about this uh, trophy common. I actually think that trophy common is probably pretty likely at the spot you're on, especially if somebody was using 20 size boilies instead of the smaller ones. I mean, you might do it anyway, but I think it's worth like focusing, trying to get a trophy common. Um, nope, nothing, nothing to see here. Just look away for a second, clear your mind. Think of Men in Black and how sometimes our memory just slips away. Ah, it feels so nice to take that memory load off of our brain. <clears throat> we don't want to get too close. It might scare the fish. Oh yeah, the shaman drum. That's true. That's true. The flashy thing. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay, let's see. Where's the most recent trophy carp been caught? Ooh. 137. Wait, where's 137, 147? Isn't that right where we're fishing right now? Except it's... That's a misprint, right? He says 137, 147. That's really 132. And he was using exactly what I'm using. But 2 hooks... So he did catch a trophy common here. Somewhat depends on the bait and, uh, and probably varies spot to spot. But overall, Blunty, I don't feel like you go through a ton of bait.
Yo, I don't, I don't mind those common carp. They, uh, they, they, they will pile up for some good silver and XP. Yeah, but I don't think, I think it was a misprint, right? I don't think he was actually, he, he's not actually fishing over here. He, he meant to put 132, 147 and put 137. Tell me on the XP map without premium. Right, there's a frame. All right, folks, we are going to try to embrace the trophy common here. Okay, so we're going to do some weird stuff. Don't try this at home but we're going to try to embrace it. All right. It's all or nothing here. You have had that special. Yeah. I'm just saying like, you can tell on the map, like he says 137, but that's 132. 137 is like up here, right? Trolling Archie, sure. Yeah, I can absolutely do that. Uh, I will. I will try to remember to prioritize trolling Archie sometime. Are you running into problems, or you just think it would be entertaining? How long has it been since I did a video about trolling Archie? I know I've done it before because it's been such good silver for so long. But let's just see. Search. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not at all saying I can't do it again. I'm just saying, if you're wanting to see. Yo, is this bad quality? What's going on? Well, is that they are not handcrafted. Anyone can purchase them from the store. Oh, I thought it was stu stuttering. For silver, by the way. So anyway, I mean, this is obviously this the is amount that fish is worth at this map. This is like not recent, so I guess you're asking for something more recent or more current. This wasn't that long ago, though. I mean, you know, just over a year. <laughs> not too much has changed. Oh, is that right? Was Pike Connor Captain doing a lot of uh, Archie fishing before? Was that what he was known for?
Oh, you got a mirror? Nice. It is a pretty fish. Yeah, they did a good job with the carp the carp arts art assets. Oh, you're trying method? Nice. There's a mirror. VK Archie. Oh, why is it all uh is it all Pike Hunter Captain or something? This is the person that does all the like highlighted routes and stuff. I gotcha. Yeah, I've seen that before. Are y'all feeling a trophy common? I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I'm feeling it or not. Trying to feel like if I'm uh... uh yeah I mean it affects it in a small way Canadian but I mean like your overall skill progress in bottom fishing is more important than having points in the specific rig you're using so does it affect it sure does it is it like you know huge like a huge difference no probably not Thirteen minutes. Okay, I've got to time this right. <laughs> I've got uh, somebody's coming by the house just for a minute. They should be here in about twelve minutes, so I'll just time it right, take a quick bio break, and uh, say hello to them real fast. I won't be long though. You got a mirror ghost? What? On on method over there? That's awesome. That's awesome. Man. Do y'all think the salmon krill is better than the mussel stuff right now over there? It's weird because on VK I don't see recent posts about... Like everybody seems like they're moving to mussel stuff, but that doesn't mean that's right. You know? How far back do you got to go to find the non mussel stuff? Excuse me. I just haven't fished amber in so long. I just don't know. I don't have personal knowledge. All right, there's krill. So that was just mm, two days ago. And that was the oak spot. That was 69. Huh. Maybe so, maybe so. Salmon krill has been good for weeks. Okay. 
You still got Sam and Krill common trophy on Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, maybe I try that instead of muscle when I move over. Look at this health healthy common though. That's 15 kilos right there. That's 15 kilos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Quantum, see you later. Enjoy your food. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for saying that Canadian way. I appreciate it. I'm glad it's been helpful. Do we have a um, salmon PVA already made up? Yeah, look at all this krill salmon stuff. Any of this should work good, right? Salmon and mussels would also work good. Krill salmon, 35, 4. I kind of do want to do the medium size PVA. So we could just start with this and roll into the... Or we could just do straight salmon, honestly. Hmm. I do like using up PVA that's already made. It's a lot of silver. It's a lot of silver into the cost of the PVA. Oh, shoot. Um, all right, let me see how much time I've got. Oh, good. That fish didn't get off. I always feel stupid stupid when I pick up a feeder or a carp rod or whatever and then the fish isn't quite on yet but if you don't touch it and set it right back down sometimes this happens you still catch the fish yeah good call Renzi all right let me see what we're looking at here this might be a good time for me to let's see Uh, they're still about six minutes away, I think. All right, one second.
Woo! Pretty nice pull there. Oh, is that a... Yes! Love the barbel, dude. So freaking cool. More cowbell. Long time no see. Oh, I was saving for the big Imperial reel last month. Used so many old PVAs and baits. That's awesome, Bomar. You still need barbel trophy? I just think the barbel is awesome. And it used to be like, you know, when you would get a really active barbel spot at Bear, it was so fun. Like, it just didn't happen that often. Now it's pretty common at Amber, honestly, but it's still so fun. Got like two minutes. Oh, thanks, more cowbell. It's good to see you visiting the stream. All right. So in just a minute here, I'm going to be taking like just five minutes chat. I just need to say hello to somebody. Might even be less than that, to be honest. Um, but I won't be long. What's up, Glove? You got some trophies today or me? You or me? Chill Esport. Greetings. How you doing? How's it going? I feel like 6.58 a.m. We're going to catch a common carp trophy in this spot. I, I really feel like that's what's going to happen. Yeah, I saw that, Blunty. That's why I'm like kind of focused on it. A little focused on it at the moment. Holy camoles. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Zerk. Way to go killing those carp on bear. All right, I'll be right back, chat. Oh, chill esports. Hopefully somebody in chat can help you with that. But uh, I'll try to take a look at it when I get back. Just give me a minute here, chat. I'll be right back.
goodness. I thought for sure I'd have three fish on, but not the big boilies. Big boilies caught nothing. It seems like fishy stuff is what's working at Amber right now, Bethany. I'm using mussel, boilies, and corn. And other people have been using salmon and krill. And I also heated up a little food while I was down there chatting. Uh, depends on kind of depends on how the spots looking blunty spot like this I'd do 10 gram if I'm really trying to lean into a trophy using a little bit bigger baits or it seems like on average bigger fish then yeah I'd probably do 20 gram I think you're cutting into your profit too much on a spot like this using 20 gram though Sorry. Um, so does anybody have any experience with the Zyman ZM Steelness ZM60? Yeah, I hear you, Crush Tar. I finally just decided I was missing carp fishing too much. I'm still going to go back to Norway a lot, I'm sure. But you got to do what's fun, right? By the way, not that Norway's not fun. I'm having a blast at Norway. I just missed carp fishing a little bit. I mean, there's no way that reel is only good for catfish. You can use it anywhere. I don't, like, I don't know ultimately, like, exactly what you're asking. Let me see if I can find it on the reel sheet here, though. Um... Simon. ZMS 60. All right, I found it. Classic bait casting. Is that what that is? Classic bait casting. So the drag is 17.2. So that's strong enough that you should be able to troll just about anywhere or really anywhere. Uh, it cost 84, oh, 8,499 silver. Is that right? That's a good that's a really good value for the cost, right? Um, and it looks like your max, your weight of your mech is somewhere around 90 kilos. So the thing you're going to run into, I guess, would be compared to like conventionals, you don't have as much line on your reel. So, you know, that could impact you some, but overall that looks like a very good reel, yeah. I, I've never used it or I don't think I've used it. So, I mean, I'm not speaking from personal experience, but just kind of looking it up on the chart, it looks good. Your blackened fish is very good. All right, come on. Now, this would be a little early for the trophy to come in now. We think it's going to come in at 658, right? <clears throat> well, and I really like that SA, that Sal 5000, too. Isn't the Sal 5000 the one that's only available at Christmas? 
I like that reel a ton. That is such a fun reel to use, in my opinion. The heck is this? Oh, oh, look at that chat. Another barbel. I guess you have more wear and higher repair cost on the steelness. Yeah, maybe so. Still though, I mean, that looks like a good reel. On paper at least. Now, <clears throat> the question is, is it saltwater protected? I don't know if you're thinking about trying it for small fish at Norway, but is it, is it saltwater or no? Because if it's more expensive to repair and if it's going to take wear faster, That could be a rough combination. Now we're talking about the Steelness ZMS 60. So it says it is, it can handle salt water. Perfect. That's great then. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm on Amber Lake. Oh, Camel says, no, it's not saltwater protected. Oh, you're talking about Sal, though, aren't you? Yeah, Sal is definitely not. I have that reel. And I've looked at that before. Um, no saltwater protection. Now, I do have the... Uh, huh, I have a steelness. It must be on one of my rods. Hold on. But it's not the one you're talking about, I don't think. Oh, I love the minister, by the way. Look at these ultralight setups. I haven't looked at these in so long. Here it is. Oh, gosh. Is that the exact reel you're asking about? Is that literally the reel you're asking about? Embarrassed. I'm a little embarrassed. I'm fishing on Amber Lake. Uh-oh. It's not the trophy. Uh, that is a nice reel, by the way. I've never tried it at uh, Norway. A mirror it's still mirror time of night isn't it or morning oh it's a nice mirror though he's a chunky monkey it's at least 16 kilos right oh so hard to lift him i'm just gonna lock it up and hope for the best do as i say not as i do chat Nineteen point nine. he was a chunky monkey All right, trophy coming in in an hour and 40 minutes. I don't know, Oh, is that right, Camel? That worked good on the on this out. Okay, that's good to know. 
You know, the other thing is like, <clears throat> because it was stuck on a, um, on a uh, jerk rod, I forgot I had this reel. And look at this sucker, man. This thing, this is such a nice reel. And it has saltwater protection. I love this Centauri. <clears throat> and I have, um, I mean, I've used it some. I need to grease it up. I need to put the new grease on there. But this sucker's got some power to it. So I actually have lots of options that are saltwater protected. The only downside of those um, of those really nice uh, <clears throat> bait casting reels is they just don't have the spool size of the newer conventionals. That's the big difference, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, I I just I think those. Um, those overlords are just really good. Like if Christmas comes around and, uh, you know, you've got the silver, not a bad idea to grab an overlord or two. All right, we're 48 minutes away from the trophy coming in. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my goodness, chat. This might even be better than the trophy we're going to catch. Well, not quite, but still, it's pretty nice. I love that new rare tag, by the way. I actually really like that, having that uh, on rare fish you catch, you catch. Common ghost carp, baby. Yo, what's up, Wrangler? How about them Braves, huh? Sweeping the Mets? The Marlins are in second place now. I really think the Cardinals are going to be okay. I think they're going to figure it out. It's a long season, you know? <sighs> oh, man. Uh-oh. What happened to the trophy? The trophy's like 13 minutes late. 14 minutes late. Is this the trophy? Just running a little late? That doesn't look like a trophy to me. Yeah, this is not the C, that is correct. Another framer.
Oh, I love it. Love those barbel. Oh man, you're talking about the uh, all the Braves legends in the comment commentary booth at the same time? That was fun. They were like uh, cracking me up at times, like some good stuff. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Hey, guess what? We are two for two, folks. Hold on to your butt. They're getting bigger. They are getting bigger. Oh, is this a leather? Yo, found a leather. Oh, leathers count as rare. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that. When you saw the game, you sent me that message. Yeah, no, that was that was a fun, fun game. Uh, what are you fishing? Uh, I am fishing sixteen garlic and mussel, sixteen with corn, and uh, some old PVA I had from like two years ago, or one year ago. I don't know. Also, that's on the first and second rod. The only difference is the third rod, I've got 20 size boilies. That's why the third rod is so slow. It still shows up as rare. It's a feature, not a bug. I don't think the frames have been showing up as rare for me. Maybe they fixed it, but when I've caught them, they have not shown up as rare, I don't think. I'm at... Uh, I think I'm at 15 clip, but I'll double check as soon as I catch this fish. Is that another leather? Wow. Yeah, we're at 15 clip. This, this spot would be even would be even a little better if we didn't have 20s on these honestly this spot's just working better on the 15 size um, but I was trying to catch that trophy common because of the cafe order
you can lock the front door. The only thing I don't like about this situation is my energy so low. Like, is that contributing to how large the fish feels, you know? But I, to be fair, I feel like if this is a common carp, it's a trophy. If it's a mirror or a leather, I'm not as sure. This is definitely not a grass carp. It's just not swimming like a grass carp. That would be funny though. He's a bit feisty. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me. Oh, it's a hundred percent a mirror. And I don't. Oh, no, it's a leather. Definitely not a trophy then, right? Yeah, wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. Although, that is the biggest leather carp I've caught since they became rare. <laughs> since they became rare. Um, all right, what's the biggest leather I've ever caught, though? Uh, I know I've had a trophy. 40.3 at bear. That is a chunky monkey, by the way. What baits are working at Amber? Copy, I'm using uh, garlic and mussels and mussel corn and feeling pretty good about it, to be honest. Um, what about... Okay, so leather. Oh, I do have a trophy leather here. Squid flavor corn. Yo, Matt, that's a little strong. <laughs> if that was a trophy, you were going to Alt F4 and never play again. I feel like that's a little bit of a dramatic response to me catching a trophy. Oh, take a screenshot, grab your phone, picture, if you really want it. Really nothing special here. Honestly, guys, 
if I was making this PVA today instead of using old stuff, I would have straight up put all muscle stuff. I wouldn't have put the corn feed pellets. That was just something I tried like a year and a half ago and I just still have some PVA left over. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, you're still after. Oh, that's right, Matt. I got you. So you're trying to get yours. So if I had just like, uh, what's up, Hunter? How's it going? If I had just like backed into one like that, you, you would have been unhappy, huh? The other thing copy that seems to be working. Did I already say this? I did. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm doing corn flour base, muscle attractive, uh, and then attractant. And then I would do all muscle additives. I would keep it very simple because you're especially using these smaller boilies and corn. We're just trying to go like bite rate right in here, you know. I'm having fun on Amber, although I haven't fished carp in so long. That's part of it, but. Uh, the last few of these were at bear, by the way. Let's see, where we started, Amber? Right here. This was bear. And then this was amber. So here down is bear. And then here up is amber. Almost half and half at the moment. Yeah, I would, I would encourage you to at least explore bottom fishing to see if you like it. Like, I think it's good to specialize in this game if you have something that you really enjoy. Like, if you just love spin fishing, specialize in spin fishing. But if you at least create the ability to, like, do a little bit of the other types of fishing, it just gives you the freedom and more options like as you go to VK and check out new spots, you know, you might see like, oh man, so they're killing it. There's a bream spot that's killing it. Well, I can use my, my bottom rigs, even though I don't, you know, I don't do bottom fishing all the time. I can use my bottom rigs, go make some silver. Um, so I think it pays off to like develop the skill slowly over time, build up some gear. But I also think it's good to specialize and, if, if all you want to do is spin fish, that's fine too. Yo, what's up, Gray Fox? Yeah, honestly, when I switch over to 183, I probably will use krill and salmon. I just want to compare. I also want to try to catch that trophy common carp. And I have a feeling I might have a better shot on the 20 boilies over there. On the krill salmon. It could happen here, but has anybody fished 6494 lately? That's like one of my favorite spots to fish. And I know that not that long ago it was active. I just don't know if it's active right now. I love 6494. Some of it's just nostalgia, like when Amber first came out, that was the first spot I really just sat at and like threw tiger nuts in the water and just enjoyed catching all the new carp for a while, you know? Uh, it's actually on a peg. It's like out here. Is it around D6, I think? Or... or maybe d7 something like that yeah it's on a peg though all right
I would say the best natural carp bait is probably potato overall, just because of how versatile it is. But with everything in this game, depends on the spot and the specific species you're trying to target. Oh, is that right? Okay. The mirror you got was the heaviest one you've caught. I feel like Hunter hasn't been around lately, or am I wrong on that? Wait, is Hunter... Is Hunter and... Hunter, are you in chat right now? You've never had a blue tro blue tag, a super rare trophy, whatever we call them. Wait, but are you in Twitch chat, Hunter? I mean, yes, you must be because you said yes. What's your name in Twitch chat? I already knew the answer to that. I just didn't, it hit me. So like, I gotta be honest, I recognize your RF4 name and know exactly who you are. I wasn't sure with your Twitch name. So, sorry about being confused. Welcome back. It's good to have you again. And of course I know who you are. All right, the question is how long do we, like we've been at this spot for an hour and a half and it is still going strong. But I think I'm going to, I think we're going to rotate off and let it rest shortly and go to 132 or whatever across from peg one is for a little while. And then we'll see. Oh, you're going to try 6494. I love 6494. Uh, I'm just afraid it's going to be when 6494 is dry it's when it's dead it's dead you know but I don't know maybe it'd be worth it That is bold.
That is so bold. Going for carp at bear with one saber 60 and two Lacerdes. Also, obviously, has made at least one trip to the Norway, Norwegian Sea. Has broken two reels, unfortunately, but level 18 probably just made one trip to Norway. Six trophies, though. Rough Gibble Common. Common Gibble. Yes, black carp are totally rare. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, Saber Siski is now risky at bear. True. Good, good call, Wrangler. We've been doing that for years, haven't we? But I was really more thinking about two Lacerdes. Lacerdes with grass carp. Man, you got to be pretty committed to carp fishing to go through that. trophy Russian did do we know where and and what they caught it on Ooh, nice fish Jankix that's actually a really nice fish Send him an M Dog special. Get him a little tipsy on an M Dog special there. Any carp on a Lacerdi is a fight? Yeah, true. All right, hey. I, I think. All right, we're. We've got three more of this stack PVA, so we should be able to like kind of do this perfect run the stack out, but oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Jan Cooks. I, I feel good about letting this spot rest though. You, you can tell it's like starting to slow down a little bit. We got the fat leather out. We've had some nice rares. It's been good. Ooh, grats on your trophy gibble. You fishing at Oldberg? Is that what I saw you say, Hunter? Uh, let's see. What did you say? <laughs> Banana stuff, maybe? That uh, 2167 or whatever, that's been some good some good fishing. Like a lot. It looks, sounds like a lot of uh, different species can come out there. It was banana okay look at all these rares man five within two rows of each other pretty cool i don't know like i don't think even though they call them rare like the xp and the silver for leather not that different than non-rare normally rare fish also gives you rare xp and or silver i'm not sure that's the case on leathers Oh, is that right, Wrangler? I've had some really fortunate... I've had some really fortunate black carp over the years. I don't know why. I can't catch... I mean, there's a lot of fish I can't catch, but... I've had some good black carp. It's half a million XP for that fish. I just need to catch 150 of those and I'm be level 45. Yeah, it's so weird, isn't it? How that works. Do we have a fish on line one right now or is it just, uh, just acting weird? I think it's just acting weird.
come on, OBS, internet, whatever, don't start dropping frames. I don't want to hear that. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. So glad. That's awesome. Ooh. All right, what do we want this fish to be? I'll tell you what we want this fish to be. We want this to be a barbel. Wait. Actually, maybe we can be okay with it being a common carp. Catfish. No, we don't want it to be a catfish. I think it's going to be too small if it's a common. I think I'm going back to my original hope of it being a barbel. An albino. Ah, uh, it's just going to be a mirror again, isn't it? Right? Oh, I almost could see it. Actually, it's a leather again. What's up, what's up with the leather right here? Another nice leather. And I was right. That is right at common common carp size, by the way. Trophy. What is going on? Some good leather coming out here. Most of your carp trophies were without PVA. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Megara. It is a carp fishing, long casting, saltwater, not protected spinning reel. You've yet to get a carp trophy at Old Berg. It's hard. It's much harder to get carp trophies at Old Berg. I mean, they they it'll happen, but it's it's a lot lot harder. It's not near as often. That's amazing, Matt. That is so cool. I'm glad that method has worked. That's one thing I want to do some more testing. If I actually stick with the experimental leveling account we're doing right now on YouTube, then uh, that's one thing I want to do a lot more experimenting with is like method feeding on that. How much PVA? We've got like, this is, we've got no PVA left basically, right? I really want to go switch. I mean, we've got all night. I just want to make sure we've got, you know, stuff in the water for, uh, like, you know, six seven eight a.m the next day at the next at the next spot is it 90 holy cow oh yeah no it's i in my opinion method should be like 75 It used to be so much easier. Yeah. Oh yeah, and spotting is still really good. Is that a mirror or a leather again? Ah, it's a mirror. It's a nice mirror though.
Spot is 80%. I wish that was a little lower. I guess it's not that hard to get to bottom fishing 80% though. Uh, I mean, it takes a long time. It's a grind, but it's not like the worst. You don't think spod should be that high? PVA takes so long to unlock? Yeah, I mean, it's it's that like 80 to 100 where you really feel the slowdown, especially, right? I guess if you don't have happy hour or premium, maybe it, it might even be worse though. I don't know. I just know that, I mean, I admittedly, I did a ton of bottom fishing, but it, it wasn't that big a deal to me to, to get to 100% bottom. Um... I got a little impatient at the end because Amber had come out and a lot of my friends had 100% already and were doing PVA and I couldn't, but I started spotting and it worked pretty good, you know? Um, so that was fine. But getting to 100% on spin fishing took a little bit more attention. And as you can see, I'm still not 100% on float fishing because I never float fish. I enjoy float fishing okay, certain circumstances, but whatever. I don't know. That's true, Wrangler. Yeah, and we, I wasn't even thinking about it back then. Because back then, carp fishing hadn't been like revamped, right? So it was kind of like whatever. The biggest fish were coming out on honeydew anyway, so. When does happy hour reset? I think it's like in an hour or two. I'm not sure though. Oh, is that right, Crush Star? Hmm, boy, can I break that habit? Can I break that habit though? If you care about silver. I can try. I can try. All right, so we're out of PVA, so we're gonna we're gonna reset here very soon. Just stretching for a second. All right, fish everywhere.
Is that a ghosty or just a small? It's funny. Sometimes that light shining on it is just weird, right? Spot's been good. Uh, how much longer? Are you? I don't know. Hold on one second. Let me let me respawn real quick. Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm just probably going to stream till I'm tired, too tired. And and that'll come. I mean, I, I'm not used to streaming this long. We're at four hours and 36 minutes. I'm fine right now. So I'm going to keep going for now. But all of a sudden, I'll get to a point where I'll be like, holy cow, I'm wiped out. I'm tired of talking. You know what I mean? So um, that'll happen eventually. But right now, I'm good. So we'll keep going for now. Okay, still no common trophy. Okay. Um, so right now we have just under a thousand silver in carp. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the list. Let's just sell everything under five kilos uh, let's sell everything under four kilos oops i guess i need to do it by weight if i want to do it that way because the the barbel are going to show up different, huh? All right. So starting here down to here, that's 254 silver. So that leaves all the valuable stuff. We still have over 700 silver worth of carp in our bag. Orlando Arceo had been better season. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Yeah. Who would have thought 24 hour stream. What's up Twitch prime. How you doing? RC is younger than Swanson. Yeah, RC is having a... Uh, see you later, Campbell. Thank you so much. Thanks again for the support today. I really appreciate it. It's good to have you here. And uh, thank you for the sub. All right, so what are we doing here, chat? We're doing the... Um, we're doing classic hair. And... Uh, I think we're going to go back to a large one hook. And it's like what? Krill? Krill 18? Freshwater krill? And what kind of fish was it? Uh, salmon, right? Wait. You're at, hold on, hold on. Is that the right salmon, old pal? Are you at, um, are you at 80, are you across from peg one, Blunty? I don't want to do that if it's that dead. What do y'all think? Salmon, spicy salmon or red krill? Salmon or krill? Excuse me. Excuse me for burping in your ear there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to 35 clip. I might still try it, even though it's slow for you. I think I'll still try it. Oh, they're using spicy salmon dip, by the way. So I'll try one of each. I will try one of each. Um, all right, definitely want to go to a large one hook. 
and we're going to syncing. Pellets, so we want freshwater krill 18. Remember, we could always go um, a little bit smaller boilies. I mean, kind of like what we were doing over there on the other spot, but all right, so we need both. We need, uh, oh, do we not have, I bet our, bet our hook is on a uh, Fortuna. That's the Mugga. Yeah, there it is. We could do pop up over here, actually. Huh. We could try pop up over here, but let's let's start simple. I mean, let's start the same. All right. So we need salmon dip. We need and we need old pal salmon boilies. We want salmon oil or do we want just salmon? That's the question, right? Uh, I think I'm going to go four and eight, honestly, just so that we don't get too big of portion size. I think so. All right, here we go. So we're gonna make two dry mix. So that we can, so that we can spod. We're not gonna do any boilies. We're just gonna do additives. Oh, that's awesome, Blunty. That is so fun when that happens. It's rare though, right? It's so fun. All right, we've got salmon. We've got krill. And I think I'm just gonna do regular salmon. Uh, regular salmon. This is like what I'm most unsure of. I think I will though. All right.
Oh crap, can y'all remind me? What's the difference in spam and spied? Smaller portions go with... Where am I going? Dude, I guess I'm not so poor that we're going <laughs> to... Spawn is small. And I think I have small portions in this PVA overall. So I'm going to go spawn. Is that backwards? Spod is small. Okay. 84, 147, right? Spod is small. Okay. All right. Here we go. Pazer Games, welcome. Greetings. Hello to you. Yo, there is no telling where this cast is going to go. All right, here we go. Bounced back a little bit, right? It's all right. I wasn't sure how far it was going to cast. Oh, I'm loving carp fishing. Yeah, no, it feels so good. And it has been quite a while. Yeah, very fun. I keep forgetting, like, I have these smaller... <laughs> I'm not used to fishing with such small... Alright, we should go back to, like, at least 90 on these, and they'll cast more like I'm expecting them to. I think that was just perfect. Yeah, Octuba's a great map. Octuba is kind of like the everything map. Pretty much every type of fishing you can find good spots for at Octuba. It's obviously amazing for spin fishing, especially trolling. Plenty of bottom fishing. It often has great float fishing spots. I guess I can't say that exactly in the same way since you can't do marine fishing there, but everything else, you know what I mean. It's actually hard to keep them in the water. Now, the really big ones, it might not be hard. 
All right, let's switch this over to 90 as well. Bloop. Perfect. Don't y'all think this was long enough? Junior Mall, how's it going? Uh, you pest, oh, posted your setup in Discord. Nice. Thank you, Hunter. Let me see. See if I can figure out where you posted that. Oldberg, 2167. 17 clip. Nice. 10 kilo black carp. Whoa. So you're using 16s and 16s. How's the bite rate there, by the way? Is that a pretty good bite rate? You're at work right now. How long do you have at work? I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Just a reminder, they said it releases instantly, but doesn't hurt to leave it. Yeah, I know, Blunty. I, I can't. I just, I have to. I have to leave it just a little bit. You know what I mean? How hard would it be for me to get spooled here? Should I have mon should I have braided line? We're holding We're only holding 300 meters. I we think we're probably okay. I mean 300 meters is a good ways, right? Very steady good bite rate. Oh, that's awesome. All right, I'll look at your setup more closely. That's really cool. You're there till 1130 Eastern. So goodness, five hours and change still, huh? I well, hope you have a good night at work. Hope it goes by quickly for you. Hey, there's a nice common. We're starting off with a nice common. It already feels like with the first two fish we've caught here, it already feels pretty good. Now, this is the best fishing, best time of the day for fish, for carp fishing. So, I could see this being slow during the day with these larger boilies, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. How's 6494? Did anybody actually get out there and test it? I almost did, but I wanted to see how this was going first. Uh, just did 21 mirror on the Goliath. It barely reels when the fish is pulling. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, okay. Had to re-log because I got hung up on something. Uh, it's so annoying when that happens. Don't remind me how long I've got left. I might, <laughs> might go fish, fishing on my lunch. There you go. For you, it was slow. Here, you mean? You mean this spot or what? Are you talking about old Berg? So I was talking to Hunter about old Berg. This is where you had the trophy uh, mirror though, right? Matt. Are you talking about 2167 Berg? Oh, 6494. You did try that. Okay. Gotcha. Now it could be different on PVA though, you know? This is amber. We're at amber right now. Oh, is that right? Goliath is slower than the Venga with pressure on it. Interesting. Yeah, this is the common carp spot right now, it looks like. Fourteen point so fifteen kilos basically. 
That is awesome. fish coming out right now I mean it is that time of day though can't get too excited yet I mean that's that's kind of the case with most reels right I mean maybe it's a little more exaggerated but if you've got something applying a lot of pressure and that's why conventional reels have the rate ratio down right it's just hard to reel something in when there's that much pressure on it. It's going to be like 18 and a half kilos, 19 kilos or something. We're getting so close to our trophy, but not quite there. Come on, common. We have caught some fish since we moved here. Feels like an exaggerated version because over five ratio with 30 spool size, like conventional where you couldn't drop the ratio. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, Junior Mall, we're at Amber Lake. If I never answered you, I'm not sure if I did or not. So shiny and massive. That's awesome. Man, this first ride, holy cow. All the attention going to the first ride right now. Holy cow, chat. Oh, shoot. We just got a non-common, too, though. So that could just be a big mirror. Hmm. False alarm. Had the friction breakdown on 26. You're stuck at Bear. Bear was pretty decent earlier, honestly. We made pretty good silver on a bunch of small to mid-sized grass carp and a few other fish. But the bite rate was good. What were we fishing with there, chat? Oh, cocoa and banana. Actually mixed together. It was weird, but it was working. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier today on when I was streaming, Junior Mall. I do, I do, I do. 
We were talking about that just earlier. I've never been there, but I've watched, you know, YouTube videos, people fishing there. Dude, you couldn't, you couldn't even, uh, bottom fish there, right? Didn't you have to float? Didn't you have to catch all the fish on float? Nineteen point five kilos. Float for Gibble, Frog, and Sleepers. Shan, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, you got to remember the community was so much smaller back then. Like these days, I don't think they do that anymore. I don't think they actually take too kindly for somebody to like message them and say, hey, could I go test prison pond? It's probably not a good idea. You can. Oh, that's cool. So I, I thought it was float only. So you can you can bottom fish there? Okay. Well, that's good. You saw someone bottom fishing there? Oh, good. Okay. That's funny. At first it was like all commons and now we're just catching those mirror carp. They have come in. They have come to hang out. Yeah, for sure. This is much smaller group back then. Yeah, way smaller. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they used to do streams all the time, right? They would do streams. They would do like official comps or giveaway things. They definitely put a lot of time early on into uh, just kind of building a community, which honestly, all of us, especially those of us that do streaming and stuff, benefit from that because a lot of the players i think just got used to being on on twitch and watching people fish while they were fishing it's kind of always been a thing 
Yeah, when the English for, yeah when the English server first got released. That's right. Yeah, for sure. It's like there was a time where it felt like to be an official RF4 streamer, like the only requirement was you had to smoke cigarettes while you were fishing. Like as long as you did that, you're, you're good. You know, you could run their comps, give away stuff. Yeah, it's not like you could go take a smoke break. You had to like smoke at your computer. Did that bite go away or is it just so small that it's not, I think it went away. Yeah, that's right. But she wasn't the only one. Lady of Games did smoke a lot while she was fishing and streaming, but she wasn't the only one back then. It was like, I just felt like in the beginning, early at least, the official folks, it was just, you know, a nicotine celebration. No, 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 no. We, they changed that rule. You no longer have to uh, be a smoker I mean, I don't know. I don't even know who are official RF4 streamers anymore. Do they have those still? Like Lady of Games actually worked for them, right? I, I think Lady of Games was actually an employee of RF4 at that point. Yo, what's up, sweet family? Come to 132. Yo, I'm letting 132 rest. I just came from there. What do you mean? How does she get advertised in game? I haven't seen this, Blunty. What are you talking about? Is she still around? Like, does she still stream? Holy cow, I've got to look this up. Lady of Games Twitch. Not on Facebook. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Wait, is this? Is this Lady of Games? Like, is this two months ago? Wait, she was streaming two months ago? This is Fishing Planet though. Is she back on Fishing Planet? Yo, that, I think that's right, Junior Mall. I remember Squatch. I think that's right. Yo, what if we like turn on her stream? This is from two months ago, Fishing Planet. And we look over here in chat and like Wranglers like over here. How funny would that be? Yo, 
Yo, or even better, Wrangler, what if we look over here and Riftquake is in chat with Lady of Games? Does she not talk? Hello? I think she's silent now. What are we looking at? I don't get it. That's Lady of Game, though, right? That's just, I got to be the same one. How many Lady of Games could there be that plays Fishing Planet, right? Yeah, I remember Goose. I totally remember Goose. Wait, Goose. Isn't that a Lotro streamer? That's not a Russian Fishing 4 streamer, is it? That's somebody that was in chat? She probably has it set up where she can play music and just mutes the audio. Oh. Yeah, maybe so, Wrangler. Although you really can't do that on Twitch anymore unless you're super small. And I don't think Lady of Games is that small, right? You were watching a RF4 stream about three to four months ago and she didn't stop talking? So you're saying she does still occasionally stream RF4. God, that really surprises me for some reason. I thought there was like kind of a nasty split. Oh. Yeah, Junior Mall, who was that? Golly, man, this is where my brain just isn't that good anymore. I vaguely remember what you're talking about, though. I don't know. I don't know, though. All right, I just want to see. I guess she probably does have a YouTube as well. I was trying to see, like, how long, if I could see her, um, how long it's been since she did a, uh, okay, here's her YouTube. She did a Russian Fishing 4 video. Valheim. Oh, Russian Fishing 4. Oh, four years ago. What is this? Oh, she doesn't do anything on YouTube anymore. She hasn't had stuff up in four years. Two years. She did have something on Valheim two years ago. Yep. <laughs> Ready? Three, yep. two, one. Whee! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm not dead. You I'm off the mountain. I'm completely off the mountain. I'm not dead. Oops, hang on. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. Whee! Oh, holy shit! <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh, man. My level is 44. Oh, can you not see my level? My bad. I'm level 44. What about you, sweet family? What level are you? Yeah, I think you're right, Junior Mall. I just can't figure, I can't remember. Wrangler, do you remember somebody duck or duck somebody? I feel like that was somebody that I connected with through Lotro, but maybe it was, it, it was something duck, right? Oh, you're level 43, nice. Uh, 
There's my level. Yo, Andy Virus, how's it going? All right, we're slowing down a little bit. Oh, it's time of day. Never mind. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this would happen. Time of day. Big boy Lee's time of day. Oh, man. What do y'all think has a chance of being better? 169 or 64? If we actually go to a third spot here at Amber. Duck, duck, goose. That was when I first started. Dude, they're just sitting on garlic. I mean, we could do garlic 20, go to 64, 94, and hope for a trophy. Yeah, no, all these, all these fish were caught at 132. Right, chat? Isn't that where I was? Yeah, 132. I just, I fished there a long time. It's probably a little dried up for me. I got to let it rest. 132 was great though. Clip 15. I don't know, 64.94 or 169? Probably 169 is the safer bet, but 64.94 might be the more fun bet. We just put on some big garlic mussels and try to get that trophy carp. Or we go to peg one. Uh, I don't know. I just want to try to get a trophy common. Peg one is so close though. Eighty-eight, man, that's such a weird spot. I have fished there before, but it's not a very frequent. There's 169, and that was on the baits we're using right now, basically, with a trophy common ghost. Let's see, there's 169. They must have had small baits. They were catching like tench and crucian and stuff. Yeah, that's the muscle setup. Dude, 132 has been so popular lately. All right, here's 169 again. Uh, krill and salmon trophy common. That might be the safest bet. I don't know. Yo, 124.66. What bait? What baits, Fisher? What baits were you using there, Babaka? Uh, you want to do jerk for pike? Why does this show... <laughs> Dude, what is this line we have on... Holy cow. That's only got 210 though. I need a new thing aligned, don't I? Um, it's only it's only got 136 meters on it. What is what is going on right now? All right, we'll just use this for now. We need to buy a new line though. 
There wasn't a clip on there. All right, cool. All right, hold on. Line 36. Where is it? But it's only 136 meters. I don't know what happened to it, but we got to get rid of that crap. Twenty. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. All right. So. Um. One twenty-four. That's like the. Um, that's that spot that's like yeah at the rocks or whatever. Thirty-five clip. All right. Yeah. I'll do that. Sounds like a good plan. Try to get that trophy common. probably just move overnight again it's a good way to hit amber sometimes it's just kind of sit sit somewhere for 45 50 minutes move overnight then go somewhere fresh as long as there's like lots of good active spots Uh, this weekend, um, I'll probably stream during the day tomorrow, assuming nothing else comes up, like a little earlier though, like I'll be done long before this. So it'll be an earlier stream tomorrow, um, and not as long. And then Sunday, if I stream, which I probably will it actually will be later so like tomorrow will be a, a more like eu friendly stream sunday will be a more in a friendly stream if that makes sense dang <clears throat> exciting times at your place sounds like well i hope all that goes well and uh all in the right time right healthy healthy As long as we get 36.4 line, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh. Heavy fish.
Who's this Lankus Turkey person? They're giving out good advice and also uh, being nice to a new player. So is NLR. Thank y'all for welcoming a new player in chat and giving solid advice. Hey, this is a common, but it's not going to quite be there, is it? Eighteen point two. Sounds good, Addy. Oh crap, I still don't have a clip on this. Yes. Yeah, I'll show you a junior mall. My dogs is what you search for. M Y space D A W G S if you want to join our chat. I might have to do a restart on the game. I think I might have killed it. Has your bite rate slowed down that much, Matt? search for M Y space D A W G S. Or I think if you just search dogs or if you just search M dog gaming or M dog, I think any of those will bring it up, but and then you just click join. Now Ronaldo is advertising my most recent leveling guide on YouTube. Again, thank you. Uh, I don't think that's a real thing, Twitch Prime, but I get where the thinking comes from, right? Like if there's different servers or like connection like to your game needs to be refreshed or something. So I don't know. I mean, I gotta be honest, I, I've, I've tried stuff like that before. Like, I mean, I don't necessarily think that is the case, but I'm sure there's some people that swear by it. I definitely feel like if I fish a spot for an hour, if it's not really strong, I think the spot tends to start to slow down. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I think the whole water body or everywhere slows down if I don't re-log, you know what I mean? Yeah, but letting spots rest is different than having to re-log out of the game, right? You definitely need to let spots rest. Um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who... moving around a little bit chat just moving around
<laughs> hey. Hey, that's good stuff. That's good stuff, Ronaldo. Not only did you thank me for shouting you out, but you mentioned the Twitch stream. So once again, advertising for M-Dog. I like it, Ronaldo. I like it. What's up, Dashlor? Yo, where's Gravy? Why have I never done that before? Anytime you or Gravy show up, I should just ask where the other person is. Why haven't I been doing that for years? Apex Legend? Is he going to get the board game? Yo, Dashlor, you should... Um... You should blow his mind. He may not know about it. I bet he does. Surely they've been advertising for it in game. You think you think they have though? You think they have? Actually, I think the Kickstarter just ended. But they'll open up they'll open up pledge manager. You'll still be able to pledge late. You should you should be like, "Yo, Yo, Gravy, are you getting the board game too? All right. You should make a new series that you can't move on to the next map to have all the trophies. Yo, I've always thought that that would be a fun way to do it, Canadian way. Um, but man, oh, drive you crazy, wouldn't it? Probably get done with Mosquito about level 20. <laughs> and then like, I don't know, winding, you might be level 40. <laughs> like, holy cow. I think they're just so hard, even at, at the beginning. Mosquito's not too bad, but winding? You've got some real bangers on winding list. And then heaven help you if you ever finish winding and open up Old Bird. That series would last forever. I mean, if I was going to do that series, I would just say, all right, this is my main account. I'm going to, I'm going to Mosquito and I'm not leaving until we finish the list. And then I'd be like, all right, I finished the list. All right, we're going to winding and we're not leaving till we finish the list. How, how, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I would do it. I don't know if I'd make it or not. As long as like, I could, you know, I could like fake it, right? Like if I'm streaming, I could be on my main account and go anywhere I want. But when I'm recording an episode for that series, that we act like we're not allowed to leave the map. <laughs> Here we are. We're still at winding. There's this guy, Nor Norling Gaming on YouTube that's doing that. He's doing really well. He decided to start rolling a location and making himself stay there until he gets a new card now. That's cool. Want you around as long as I'm alive? You want me around as long as you're alive, Dash? I'm sure you're going to outlive me, so you're going to have to come to terms with that at some point. Hey, it's overnight. I think we can safely move spots. The only thing I don't like about this game plan is I still have four PVA left.
I'm older than you, you snot nosed punk. <laughs> My girlfriend might kill me this weekend. Hmm. You drove across the map and found out you're out of corn. Oh, that stinks. And really the problem with that is it's not like somebody can just send you corn. I mean, if you have premium, I guess we could. And then you could send it back once you get done fishing. But you burn through corn so fast, like it would be asking a lot for somebody to send you that much corn. You know what I mean? Whoa. Hey, Okro, grats on the trophy Xander. So Archie's still handing out trophy Xanders, huh? She's going to beat you up when she goes into labor. Hey, that's okay. That's all right. You just take that. You just take that. <clears throat> If that's the way you can support her during her labor, then it's worth it. We need an NPC that comes to deliver it. Oh, dude, how amazing would that be? You know, they upcharge you by like 20%. But there's literally an NPC that just like comes running down the road. <laughs> Wear catcher's gear. Can't get a lousy pike. Oh, at Oldberg, are you f fishing that? Woo, we got over a thousand fish. All right, but we're still gonna do Challenge. this. Whoa, hey. Challenge accepted. Yo, Steve, seven months. Thank you for your prime. There's a lot of places you could have put that prime. I appreciate that. What did we do last thing? We, every Last time we did everything under four kilos. Actually, we didn't catch much at under four kilos there. Like that spot was even healthier. How many fish are we at though? 59? Yeah, we're good. You see what I'm doing here, chat? We're always selling the weak sauce. We're keeping the strong sauce so that once we're done, it looks like we've got the best net of carp ever. At least on a map like Amber? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let new players come on, get on the four-wheeler, run, run you out some bait, and then you tip them. I can't remember, were we using pop-up or, um, we were using pop-up on the muscle, right? Yeah, pop-ups. All right, and we're doing, we're doing some 20 here, because we're trying to get a trophy. We're going for the old trophy. All right, 20 single corn or Challenge. double corn. Whoa. Challenge accepted. Y'all are crazy. We're up to 27 subs right now, folks. That might be a record. Twitch Prime, thanks for the sub. Tier 1 sub, I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Y'all are the best. Dude, that's some strange PVA right there. Salmon and mussels. Is that what we want to do or do we want to make some? Really want to have a shot at getting this. Uh... Getting this trophy, you know. Challenge. Y'all got to stop about the fallout of this chair. 
Yo, what's this hype train going? Blunty gives out a community sub. Who got the community sub? Thorgren, grats on your community sub. What the heck? Oh yeah, here we go. I think we're gonna make some actually. Mango cream. Do I? Yeah, we're pretty good on that stuff. Let's just see, like if I decide, let's see what time we get out there. But if I decide to make muscle, do we have um, one, two, three, we could do zebra or we could crush or use crushed. Yeah, I think that's solid. I think that's fine. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to the rocks, not to all the way to the oak. Don't make him fall out of his chair. We can't see it. Good point. Good point. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Yo, seismic. Five community subs. Twenty nine subs, folks. We just completed level one of the hype train. Uh, Kanoko, Die Drake, Richie Boy, Bob, and Colton. Please thank Seismic. Challenge. For your yeah, gifted sub and seismic, sincerely, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Hey, Hillbilly Joe, thanks for the follow. I do need to stretch, but let me get uh, let me get my rods out in the water here. Let's get some PVA and stuff soaking so we can try to get this common carp. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Talking about feeder? Are you talking about what are you, Junior Mall? What are you talking about? Feeder rods? Are you asking what are the best feeder rods for 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 lakes? Are you talking about rigs? Feeder rigs? What are you asking me here? I forgot it did that chat. I was trying to get off. <coughs> I was just trying to get off the stinking four wheeler. Uh, best feeder cage. I mean, I like like more. Re so back in the day, I loved these masked these West Hills, right? The masked Challenge. mesh. But more recently, I have switched to Challenge Simmons. Accepted. A lot of the times I use these nice Simmons ones. It's unbelievable that that just happened. All right. Hydrating. I'm hydrating. Seriously, I better stretch. Yeah. Man, seismic, you're too kind. Let's try this again. I 
can't even remember what spot we're going to. 124. Terror trip. Grats on your trophy rough. Somebody just called a 96 kilo poor, be poor beagle. Him dog going for some fat carps. Exactly. We've been at hunt at Amber long enough to uh, go through some four wheeler tickets, haven't we? Yo, thanks, Canadian. I appreciate that. Um, very subjective but complimentary opinion of yours. Thank you. The amount of times I've been shocked at work by wire. <laughs> You're going to be a superhero soon. <laughs> oh, man. Almost there. Again. Whoa. It's right here, right? Okay. What time is it? 440? Um mm, I guess I've got time. Let's just go for it. Corona Extra. Dude, we're at one we're at thirty four subs now. Sorry, I'm I'm not trying to focus on that. I'm just saying I don't think I had the updated number before. Anyway, thank y'all again for all your support. Uh, certainly just being here is enough, but I, um, I really appreciate the generosity. All right, I think we're just going straight out here. I feel like that's what I usually do. Maybe a little bit this direction. I don't know. Let's just get it out there. I didn't switch the line, did I? So I need to remember to switch that line. Oh, I didn't buy the new line. I'm not switching anything. We're just gonna take a chance with this thick line out here. Forgot the line. Uh, twisted T rocket pop, huh? You hooked one by opening a reel. There you go. Some next level strats. Oh. 
All right, remember 658 is trophy time. They're good, but really sweet. Is that right? Uh, ooh, dung beetle. Let's eat some RF4 cake. Here we go. Nibble number one. Even on the long, the largest Fortuna carp ride, we only, yeah, we only had 32. We didn't have 36, right? All right, just making sure. <clears throat> it's just kind of awkward, the size line we've got on, but, oh, I still didn't. Oh, yeah, it does have, okay, good. Uh, One-Eyed Willie, thanks for the follow. River King says, do you get a buff for eating the cake? I don't think so. But if I get a trophy rare carp, we're all going to think of that cake a little different, aren't we? We're all going to be eyeing that cake a little different. How long have we had the cam turned off, by the way? We're just chilling with no cam, huh? That's cool. That's probably why I got so many subs. Turned the daggum cam off. Hmm. It's good to know. Keep that in mind. Yo, you know what's cool? Level 19 person streaming the game right now. I mean, I'm, I really, believe me when I say chat, I'm not trying to get rid of you. But if you wanted to go say hello to the new player who's level 19, actually like sticking their neck out and being willing to stream the game, I wouldn't blame you. Uh, going for a big carp. Yeah, I'd love to catch a big common trophy right now because of that cafe order. You know what I mean? That would be amazing. 
Can y'all see that? Yeah, see how they're level 19? Let's see if they get any viewers. Let's see if any of y'all like actually go over there and say hello. Oh, there's two viewers. I'm not even sure if they have a mic, to be honest. When's the last time you saw someone literally just spin fishing at Corey? Good job, Renzi. Like this. Like, this is awesome. Aren't they at Corey? They're just straight up, like, standing on the shore, letting it go touch bottom. Like, this is a spinner bait right here. This is amazing. There you go, River Kings. Canadian way as well. Ah, no mic, I think. No mic. Yeah, it's tough. Tough to stream without a mic, right? Maybe they're maybe they're gonna get one. Maybe they're just like figuring out how to do it and uh, they're gonna get a mic. Maybe they'll get a mic. Oh, you need a mic if you're gonna stream, let's be honest. Like, that kind of works on console if you're just trying to, like, you know, whatever, but. Unless your mic's just broken and you've got another one coming or something, you type that in chat or whatever, like, for the most part, you really need a mic to stream. You don't have to have a camera, but I think you need a mic. Come on, carp. What time is it? 8.49? These carp got to wake up. They got to do something here. We had the one come in. We haven't had another one yet. Maybe nervous the first time. Yeah, for, for real. My camera's late. Wait, really? Hold on. Looks like, okay. O according to OBS, I'm like, I'm on time. Let me look at the stream. Uh, I think it's just you. Looks like I'm good. I think I'm good. What's up, Linko? Challenge. Whoa. Challenge accepted. Dude, is that Lyric? Did Lyric just sub with Prime to my channel? What's up, Ly Lyric? Welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. No worries, Linko. You got you got to watch. There's no telling with me though. Like, have all kinds of problems at times. So, <laughs> just name coincidence. No worries. No worries. But thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Canadian Way. That's very kind. All right, this has gotten, this has been slow. What am I doing wrong, Babaka? I just got to be patient. Is that the thing? Maybe it's slowed down. Didn't you say it's been a couple days since you were out here? I mean, we are like so close to 169. We could just go try that if this doesn't pick up. <clears throat> uh, is it decent, Renzi? Yeah, maybe I should. Let me give this to like 11 a.m. I mean, at this point, we've already missed trophy time anyway. Not that we couldn't have a random trophy some other time, but it's not super likely like right here in the middle of the day. Yo, speaking of streamers that didn't ever use a cam... Uh, that's Lyric, right? Old school, big time streamer. I'm pretty sure Lyric never used a camera.
Yo, Jenkins, thanks for the follow. Does he still stream? I, I just know he's like always been a pretty big deal, right? Well, believe me, Lyric could could afford a camera. <laughs> that's not the problem with him, right? But I think that's just been like a decision he made. And <clears throat> for being such a big streamer, he kind of stands out for uh, for not using one. Um, so Bobica Fisher says, yeah, yesterday. Oh, okay, it was only yesterday. You can do it with 16 pop-up or just corn. Yeah, I guess if I wanted to increase the bite rate, that would be the way to go, huh? I would love to see that trophy common come in, though. I don't know. We'll see. How do you know what times are good for what fish? Is there a way to see that? I guess mostly just experience, you know? Like, Willie, if you fish for certain fish, if you fish at a spot for a while, you kind of see the times that the fish are coming in. Um, but if you ask around, a lot of people know for most fish, like what that looks like. For example, you'll, you'll hear people talk about bream fishing a lot, but bream are only active in the evening, overnight and early morning hours. So like nine, 10 PM to around 8 AM. Right. But then a lot of other fish are active during the day. So it just kind of varies. Or try hair rig 18 muscle pepper with 20 muscle soluble. Really? Oh, that's cool sounding. All right, maybe I'll try that on one rod. Uh, Renzi says, I have one rod with salmon krill and the other two rods with muscle stuff both working. Okay, yeah, I might rotate over to 169 soon. Hunter got a 23 kilo grass cut. Nice. So, Hunter, are you doing uh, carp fishing and pike fishing all right there in that same spot? That's always such a fun, fun combination at, at Old Berg. All right. Let's try one of these as uh, um, Yes, yeah, seriously. Good call, Dash Lore. That is a good call. It really does. All right, so what'd we say? Uh, muscle with muscle. Oops. Muscle pepper. I may not have that. All right, we could do muscle and fruit, I bet. And muscle soluble. I'm sure I have that. Yeah, let's try this. This should still be fine. You were trying the pike, but they weren't biting. Uh, Y'all know what Dashlor means when he says Usain Bolt of clams. It's actually a funny descri description of what happens when you catch those. Um, it's weird though, because that spot you were first at worked so well for you and it didn't work for me. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't have the muscle pepper. I don't think I've, <laughs> I may not have ever used that bait before because I don't have any. Um, I do have the pellets. Oh, you're talking about pellets? Oh, it's a pellet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. I got it, okay. Well, let's see if we get a bite and then maybe we'll switch one of them. Whatever we get a bite on, maybe we'll switch it. It's pellets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it now. So I did double sinking boilies. This probably take forever to get a bite on this. All right, let me stand up. Let me stretch. Let me move.
Anything biting? I have no idea. I don't know much about technical stuff, chemo. I'm not sure. If you think it's like a ban on the RF4 side, I would send somebody, I would ask a admin, send somebody a message on their website or something. I'll be right back, chat. I'm just going to. guess we should switch that third rod because actually let's just switch 169 let's just see if it's any faster at 169 right because uh, this does seem pretty slow for me let's just see if there's any difference That's weird. So you confirmed that it wasn't that you were banned or something. That's so weird. I have no idea. Peaceful zone. How's it going? I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't patient enough. It's like, I want the common trophy, but I also don't want to wait forever, I guess. Which means I might not be get, able to get the trophy. If I'm impatient about it. But it is kind of fun. First time being back at Amber in so long. And we're kind of making the rounds. I guess we didn't go to 6494, but we've been to a lot of the different spots now. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. All good. Time to upgrade. Ooh, 
Ooh. Interesting. That happened so fast. Like, we just got the rod in the water, right? Pretty sunny day, pretty hot day. That could be part of why things have slowed down a little bit. Good idea. <clears throat> Said the same thing on your second account. Man, that's brutal. The heck's going on? <laughs> From prison pond to IP, <laughs> goodness. can't tell me what to do. I'm only catching fish on my first rod these days, by the way. Yo, I just remember standing on that freaking dock over there for hours and hours with like crab corn, right? I think those are the crab corn days. I should pick up in the evening. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm still here. I've not gone anywhere. Don't worry. Okay. You're using through three feeder 100s, 3,000 reels for bottom fishing. What's a good next upgrade for bottom? Mm, that's a good question. Are you able to fish for a bream with that? Wait, are those the Sorrentos you've got? What have you got? I remember those days me and Gravy used to wonder if you knew there was other kinds of fishing in the game. <laughs> That's when y'all will be like, yo, do a float leveling series. All 
All right, so Willie, did you get the like starter kits? Or did you put those together yourself? Yo, when somebody comes into your chat named Racer and says stop, that's kind of wild, you know? Ten K dog bones. Oh, that's awesome, Blunty. That's a great idea. iRacer9 just comes in and says, stop. First time chat. All he says is stop. Probably the starter kits. So... Like, you could upgrade. I mean, it's really up to you, obviously. Some people, some people would be of the opinion that with those rods you have, if you can fish for, re for bream, then you could just start saving uh, for your first caliber. But that's a long time to save with no upgrades. So you just kind of have to decide like how long you want to save, like how long you're willing to just use that starter gear. There's definitely like steps in between, like reels like the Sabre 60 or the Pulsar. Those are decent mid-level reels between uh, You could get the Fortuna feeder. There's a lot of options. So when your lure was gone, I was just going to help with changing lakes. Ain't got to be that way. No, I don't have to change lakes. Just because my lure was gone. Yeah, that's true. You could go up to the next level kits and then you've got a little bit stronger setup. Um, you know, the issue with that next level setup is honestly, it's just, it's not strong enough for carp. Um, so it's just kind of like, okay, so what are you going for with that? Now, if you're doing it for trolling, if you're trying to get some spinning setup so you can troll Corey, that makes sense to me, but I don't know. You've only got 300 silver. Not sure if you can sell the other rods. Yeah. And you're at that point, Willie, where you kind of discovered like this game is so grindy. It just takes so long. Hey, no worry, racer. Welcome to the stream. No worry at all. You probably won't troll, to be honest. You're going to stay on bottom fishing. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's probably what I would do for now, Willie. Just while you get to know the game, kind of watch different people play it, find out what different types of gear there are, there is in the game. Just try to make some silver off those bream for now. Keep grinding out the levels. You're level 21, Racer. Is that right? I don't know. Is this a fish on or is it just messing around over here this is the one with the yeah so for a starting and you might want to take a picture of this. I mean, it's up to you, but you might want to just as a, like a reference point. But like this would be a pretty good starting 
carp ki uh, kit. Now, you would likely have something like this on there. Uh, 23, let's see, so we do 22.6, 22.8, but we'd probably put a carp leader on here. Uh, 22.5 or 6. So like something like this, right? But this is a lot of grinding, you know, it's okay. Like, again, it's more important that you do what's fun for you, not, um, you know, not, not necessarily be the most efficient. So those are great starter rod kits, but that's a long way away and a lot of silver. Yeah, we're we're catching fish on the other one, right? So let's let's go. Um, let's just go ahead and put them all three the same. I just think it's weird. Like so many of my fish have come on this first line. Yeah, no worries. You'd like to have the ability to top fish? Yeah, that'd be cool. I hope that, um, obviously they've got some top water stuff, but I hope that if they do end up adding like, you know, straight up bass fishing in the game, that they do a little more with top, top water stuff. Thanks for the follow, I racer. I pretty appreciate it. Yeah, I've got... <laughs> That's exactly right, Dashlore. Uh, hi, Kazam. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. It's going pretty well. We're just chilling here on Amber, catching some carp. Uh, yeah, having a good time. Going to have to eat some food at some point, but I'm trying to hold out as long as I can. Yeah, weedless lures. Yeah, yeah. And like those... Uh, what are they called? um that kind of like go across the top of the water buzz baits that kind of stuff you see the bass just come up and like strike it off the top top water frogs yeah exactly yeah they they definitely push out updates um I would say they're definitely there's like occasional server downtime for server resets and updates and stuff on at least a monthly basis but in terms of like adding new maps new content that is definitely not every month that's like every few months carolina rigs yeah that'd be awesome food is overrated yeah although i do eventually just like run out of energy but i did i had a little bit of fish and rice earlier so i'm still holding out all right the one was like four or five different little shad umbrella rigs. Yeah. You get tired of work, then you get shocked. It's like I pounded four monsters. That's funny. 
Carolina rig is in the game? I don't think so. Ow. Good grief. It is? Is Carolina rig one of them? Texas rig is there. Carolina is too. I can't even remember. It's one of those spinning rigs that we don't actually use very much in the game, right? It and Texas rig? Okay. Is that a little frame? It's a little frame. So far, 132 seems like best spot, right? You got a 17 kilo mirror ghost just now, Renzi? What? What? Are you in my chat? Didn't show up in chat? Are you not in chat? It did show in chat. An 18 kilo. You have 1,500 silver and an 8,000? Wait, an 8,000 what? You talking about your reel? What should I do next? Yeah, I mean, that's an impossible question for me to answer. There's so many options at this point in the game. There's so much gear. It really just is up to you. Depends on what you want to focus on, that kind of thing. I don't see it. Are you in my chat, my dogs? Are you just are you just in the world chat, Renzi? <laughs> Dashboard. <laughs> are you talking about like from the fish's perspective? You're just like hanging out at a party and then bam. <laughs> the fish chats have been broken for a while now. Yeah, I thought they were better now. I thought they were mostly working. Apparently not. Not talking from experience. <laughs> oh no, I think it's bugged. I don't think so, right? Oh, if you have more than 300 people in a chat, only show trophies and records. Wait, what? I see uh, I see more than that though, right? Do I not see more than that actually? <laughs> no worries, Matt. Let's see. <laughs> You're right. I only see trophies and records. You're so right. So occasionally, okay, so maybe I'm not going crazy. 
challenge. Whoa, I racer. Challenge accepted. Thanks for the sub. Dang, appreciate it. I can't, I cannot believe it. When you first got here, racer, and said stop. <laughs> I really did not envision this ending with you subbing to the channel, but thank you for the support. Really, seriously, I appreciate it. Very generous of you. Thank you. So when's the last time I saw somebody's catch that wasn't a trophy other than my own? Nice trophy smelt, Okro. Because I feel like I was earlier. Maybe not. So y'all are saying every once in a while somebody's random catch will show up? So it's just because of the size of our chat, huh? Like that kind of stinks, you know, like <sighs> it was always cool when you were sitting there and it's like, you saw somebody go, you know, bream, bream, bream. You're like, dang, you're on the bream. <laughs> yeah, absolutely racer. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Just got 189 trophy halibut. Wow, grats. That's a big one. Yeah, I got you, Pytum. I'm trying to catch it right now. Ever since I saw that, I started trying to catch it. And I haven't gotten it yet. When will I get my new Hollywood star? Mm. I don't think that's in the uh, in the stars there for me. Maybe on the next map, I can just get like a little graffiti on the back of the wall, on the back of the, one of the buildings where nobody goes, like really small. It could just be like M Dog or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. So the higher level you get, Willie, the less often you'll get skill ups. So when you first start out, you always get skill ups, pretty much. But the higher you get, the less often it'll happen. So it gets harder and harder to level up your skills. 83 is looking good for trophies. Oh, no, no, no. I don't recommend that one, Dash. I don't recommend that one. I actually did pretty well at 83. You know, it's funny. We have, uh, I think our the best spot was the first one, right? Wherever it was, G3. And then this one was next. Well, now this spot's doing pretty good. I couldn't get one, whatever, one at the rock, that spot. I couldn't get that to work for me. But I also wasn't very patient, to be fair. When do you think you should reset skill points? I, when you're in your high 20s, probably. If you can wait that long, at that point, you've played enough to have a much better idea. Maybe even level 30. Like, it's just, it costs real money after you use your first one. So, you don't want to reset it. Even if you feel like you've messed up or whatever, don't worry about it. Like, skill points are not, are not all that. Like, you can still do good, plenty of good fishing without skill points. So... I would try to hold on to it as long as you can, you know? If ports don't matter, here's a thought. Why is everyone saying if bites stop, the restart your game? Yeah, no, I don't know, Maddie. That might be a thing. It really could. I just don't know that it is. I just don't know. I don't, I've never had the experience where I felt like 
the bite rate and everything I had was best explained by, oh, I just re-logged, I just restarted until I got into the right, you know, connection or whatever. I, I just don't know. Like, I'm not saying that's not the case. It's just, that's never seemed like the case to me. But I could be wrong. Gustav, how you doing? Yo, how was your stream? Didn't you stream, Gustav? You're level 25, keeping that reset button because I don't know what to put it in. There you go. There you go, Linko. I like it. I think that's the right move. I think that's the right play. I agree, Racer. It's a great sim. Fishing mechanics are really good. It's a nice, slow, grindy, fun game. Has a lot in common with MMOs, but it's just a good fishing sim. I agree, Racer. I don't know, Maddie. I, I really don't know. Oh, that's cool. Running some comps, huh? Fun and chill. I like it. I like it. Go, Renzi, go. Don't type. Focus on your fish. Let us know after you catch it. How's your stream been? It's been great. Yeah, I know. I'm having fun. Having fun today. Had, had more time today than usual, so really just been chilling, carp fishing for the first time in a long time. Uh, it's been a blast. It's been so long since I've done this. It's been fun. <laughs> hey, the thing to remember is you'll never have to level up lure making again, right? You've done it now. Just Rins, look at that. Yo, go turn that cafe order in. Unless you're going to um, frame it and put it in your house. And then let me come visit and see how it looks. Grats on the trophy common, Rins. That's awesome. Okay, so was that in this spot, Renzi? Was that where my feet are at this moment? How long had you had that on? Probably since like the end of the uh, like early evening kind of thing. <laughs> I love that, dude. Yo, that's hardcore, like. The Russians, like, they're figuring out which port to connect to for the cart fishing. That's amazing. Ten minutes on the HSV. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Those HSVs, dude, man, they are so good for carp. So good. There's no way to collect enough data to eliminate every other factor for bite rate specific fish, but ports. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like it's why this game, it's one of the many reasons actually why this game is so fun is because there's like just enough mystery, just enough like RNG layers of complexity It's all good. We don't want to peel back too many layers. It might make it less fun.
So the only reason why I restart, Maddie, is I restart because my understanding is it resets the ground bait and PVA. That that's my that that would be the only reason why I would restart. I don't personally think that it benefits me in any other way. But do I know that for sure? Absolutely not. I have no idea. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's unknowable. I mean, it's like, again, it's part of the mystery. It's one of the many factors that makes this the uh, a different experience than a fishing game where you feel like you just get out your Excel spreadsheet or whatever and you know exactly how and what you're going to catch. It's up to you, Renzi. Or you can just describe it. You don't have to send a screenshot if you don't want to. I mean, just tell us about it or not. It's up to you. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious too, Maddie. I always like hearing people's theories. And there's a lot of theories. And there's some people that believe certain things really strongly. And even if the you know someone that worked on the dev team came on and said, no, that's not how it works. Some of those people would still believe it regardless, right? So, I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I don't have, I don't, I don't even know anything about programming, much less know how this specific game was programmed. But I do see value in the mystery. mysterious for sure yeah it is that isn't it heard people say that bells scare fish bait alarms all I know is that the electronic bite alarms scare me I don't know about the fish but <laughs> Let's vote again. It's time for Horn Era. Uh, which braided line should I get for making carp leaders? Uh, what do I use for carp leaders? Feeder. Material. I use this stuff usually. I typically use this. The red camo. Although I've certainly used the other ones as well. All right. Sounds good, Renzi. I'll check it out. Whoa. It's like 4 a.m. All the fish woke up at the same time. Ooh. This one's got a little meat on him, too. I dream about those alarms and think that I play too much. <laughs> oh, man. One of the fish that's on right now is at least pulling the line a little bit. So it just depends on what I left friction break on if it has a chance. 
No, I don't think. I think, according to the de the dev team, I think right now that there is no difference in color of line or leaders currently. I think they've confirmed that, right? You got two blue cart from the spot I'm in. Oh, nice. You used to hear alarms in your sleep. I think the only thing that they've said that color does matter with right now, unless something has changed, is the, uh, was it the lead core and the clay and the grip maybe, or the, the sinker? I feel like they might've said that does matter. Now, I don't know how much it matters, but only type of material, thickness, and length of leader matter. Yeah, that's right. So that, I don't know, I guess that middle one was the one that was like pulling line a little bit. I must have had the friction brake really low. Okay, we're out of PVA. Uh, we st we really need to probably put PVA on right at the moment. Let me see what. Uh, all right, Maddie. Catch you later. Um. Let's see. Woo! Zerk had some good results. All right, spicy salmon, and the PVA was krill, red krill, salmon and tuna, salmon and tuna, red krill attracted. Okay, nice. All right, we'll see. Maybe tomorrow I'll <sighs> look at that. All right, salmon and mussels. Yeah, Gustav. I, I mean, the first thing I would say is I think that the Nor 